Besides, I can remember a time when you saved all our butts. Mm -mm. Mother mm -mm. what? Yeah! Yeah, too bad I didn't get there till after the Well, maybe if I Today you guys have sent me a try not to laugh challenge of the Family Guy variety. Except it's only their dirtiest jokes. Let's do this. So, uh, any possibility of, uh, tonight being the night we finally push the beds together? <laughs> Good night, Brian. Come on. Jeez, that enough with that already. You're like a dog with a bone. Tell me about it. I'll be in the basement. Doing oh. what? What do you think? Abner, the Griffin boy just killed a plastic reindeer. Gladys, it took me two hours to work up the courage to rent this porno. Now you're gonna watch it with me or not? Hey, Peter, uh, you got a card for if you transferred VD to somebody? Uh, let's see here. Uh, yep. Sorry, I accidentally gave you VD. Uh, that's all you got is accidental, huh? All right, I'll take it. Which one of these is the horn? That's not it. Oh. That's not it either. What is it? Oh! Do something. I'm afraid to press anything else. I, I'm sorry, that's, um... That's never happened to me before. Which part? The eight seconds of sex or the 40 minutes of crying? Damn, he made it all the way up to eight? Ah! 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 He must train diligently. I guess both. Do I... Do I give you money or something? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Normally, the woman uh, says she has a phone Thank bill. Thank you so much for helping me tear up my carpet. Well, you know, Lois, I, I gotta confess, uh, when you called me, I sort of misunderstood what you were asking for. That's why I rushed over, but uh, it's, well, well, you know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. I'm, I'm happy to help. Hey, uh, Lois, you want me to leave a little strip in this thing? Maybe a lightning bolt, unicorn, something like that? No, I want it all gone, Glenn. All right, we're going Brazilian. Yeah! <laughs> shit. Yeah, shit. this whole thing just shows that women are nothing but trouble. You said it. Let's you and me swear off them for good. And how? I say, Quagmire, it seems to me we've each made another $500 million. Good thing we swore off women so we wouldn't be distracted and unable to accumulate this vast amount of wealth. Yes. Hey, you watch the ticker. I'm going to go microwave a bagel and have sex with it. Put it in the fridge. Butter. Oh, my God. It's a chick. Ay, Dios mío. Una chica. I haven't seen this much denial since John Travolta married Kelly Preston. John, do you take Kelly to be your wife? I totally do. I mean, yeah, yes, absolutely. And I I'm going to do stuff to her, too. Like, uh, touch her? Yeah, touch her. And uh, kiss her? And touch her penis. I mean, no, not that, not that. Uh, she's got a penis. I can't even. <laughs> All right. Well, why do you say organist if you don't want... I don't understand the world anymore. Hey, Lois, I'm ready for your pie. And you made dessert, too. Oh! Oh, Glenn, I love all your sex jokes and your dirty puns. That's why I married you. Mm. Let's go upstairs and do it. Okay! Oh, God. Uh, and to think, uh, Brian, I was like a day away from having sex with you. I was gonna push those beds together and take you around the freaking world, Brian. <laughs> but a nice pat on the head is just as good, huh? <laughs> you want your ball? You want your ball? No, Lois, I don't want the ball right now. I'll be in the basement. Doing what? What do you think? He brought it out on our first date. Lois, I'm scared. Oh, I'll get that. Hey! Oh, oh, oh God! Oh, Dave, sorry. Oh, oh, God. Hey, everybody! Meg just had her first period. Peter, shut up. It's three in the morning. What the hell's going on out there? Damn it, people are trying to sleep. I'm just saying, I'm proud of her. She's a woman. Yay. Yes, Peter, that's very hot, and I'll deal with it in the morning. But right now, I am exhausted. Hey, baby, how'd you like to share a pair of skates? Sure. Oh, no. never mind. Boy, you look a lot better from the back. You jerk. Oh, hey, baby, you want to go somewhere? No, 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 wait, wait, Quagmire. Remember what's on the other side. Well, actually, that was pretty much it. Oh, but there'll be other stuff, too. Look, I'm turning down the thermostat. See Diane's erect nipples at 11. Tonight, you and me party like it's nine. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn all. What deuce? Victor is to his. Oh. Hey. Uh... This the week you guys were coming out? Meg? Jeff! Wow, hey! What are you doing here? They had a sale on super soakers. Check it out. 
<laughs> oh boy. Could I wham my Oingo Boingo into your velvet underground? What? I haven't misjudged someone this bad since my last physical. All right. The doctor will be in in a few minutes. What? Oh, Captain, my Captain! No, you're actually misunderstanding. Oh, Captain, my Captain! Well, if it works for you, I guess. Uh... Oh, Captain, my Captain! Yeah, what the hell? Be the best damn hooker you can be. Oh, Captain, my Captain! In your case, I'd get the money up front. I mean, look at us on a boat in the middle of the Atlantic, under the moonlight, surrounded by refugees. Yeah, uh, about that, uh, you know, Miguel over there has had his eye on you, and his wife, Rosa, is very open. What? No, nothing. This is nice. All right, Mr. Griffin, I'm just going to need you to drop your pants, and we'll check your prostate. Uh, what? Drop your pants, turn around, and lean forward. No. Um, uh, okay. You got to fight me first. Fight me to the death. So how does this work? Not. You just feel my pulse? So we ah! 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 <laughs> what the hell was that? Mr. Griffin, that's a prostate exam. Shut up! You had your finger in my ass! Oh, God. I've been a worse wife than Lorena Bobbitt when she was married to the thing. Oh, my God. Where is it? Where'd she throw it? Oh, God. Oh, God. Is this what you're looking for? Lois is the only woman for me. Well, then it sounds like you've got to find a way to win her back. Yeah, like, like we could get her drunk and take turns having sex with her. How would that help me? Oh, help you. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, then no. No, that, then that, that wouldn't help you. Oh, boy. Looks like your fans are back, Mom. Big, 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 no, big, I think this one's big, all yours. Big, 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 big. Yeah! Oh, yeah. girl. One's an Indian, and one's an Audi. Hey, Peter, your 25th high school reunion is next Sunday. Eh, yeah, throw that away. I don't want to go. Besides, Sunday's my internet porn night. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You're my Chinese, Lois. At least this is all I can do, people. Lois. I'm abstinent. That is it. I am going to have regular sex with you whether you like it or not. No! I wasn't asking your permission. No, 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 I'm abstinent! This is an affront to the Lord! No! No! <laughs> no! Oh, I see what you're driving at. What the My fellow Americans, I have not been entirely truthful with you. I did gagoogity that girl. I geschmoigadied her geflavity with my googus. I am scared to ever find out what that means. He's Brian. That's more ridiculous than the theory of why Tom Cruise runs in all his movies. Wow, that cameraman has nice, strong arms. You can't catch me, gay thoughts. I've never had those thoughts. Uh, <laughs> what's next? What's next? What's next? Oh, God, I've been so bloody naughty. I, oh, I need to be taught a lesson, and you're like the one this. to do it. Oh, oh, thank you. I have no idea. Thank you. Only white guys. Whatever you do, short round, don't touch anything. Okay, Dr. Jones, I no touch anything. Indy! Lady only here because she humping director. Here's this month's Victoria's Secret catalog. Oh, oh God, oh, God. Uh, no! Uh, dead kittens, dead kittens. No! Uh, old nuns, uh, really old nuns. Uh, Renee Zellweger. Oh, there we go. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. That was strangely arousing. <laughs> Hello, 911. It's Quagmire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's in a window this time. So... This is some kind of shampoo commercial, right? Do I have to sleep with the dog in this one? Hey, can someone fluff Paul? He's got like a windsock thing going on. So this is some kind of shampoo commercial, right? Mr. Zucchini Head. He's got stupid cool hip-hop style. With his little hat. Oh, wow. His dark mountains. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you, Peter. That's enough. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is the best part. He dances. I've seen How enough. I haven't had sex in four years. Mother so, you ladies not. ever been penetrated? <laughs> I'd like to play years. doctor with her and, and remove her inflamed appendix before it bursts, causing sepsis. Giggity, giggity, giggity. They even got some of that high class British porn. Almost. 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 There we are. Well done. So, uh, Mr. Pewterschmidt, the uh, big race is tomorrow, huh? Bet you're gonna need some big strapping men to help you with your boat. Are you calling me gay? No, no, I just I just thought you might want some extra semen on your uh on, on, on your poop deck. <laughs> that classic that episode of he the Wolves. Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, Mary Ellen. Good night, Paul. Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Pa. Good night, Ma. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, John Boy. 
Good night, John boy. John boy? Damn it, can't a guy masturbate in this house? <laughs> oh my God, how embarrassing. Look how much fun I am. That's some nasty shit. Don't worry. I hear they have great makeup sex. Oh, that oh, feels oh, so oh, 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 like that. Oh, 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 oh I thought about this all day. Oh, 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 How'd you like to go black and then have to make a difficult decision regarding whether or not to go back? Wait, Sorry, we'll... I went burnt sienna and never went back. Ready, baby? Who's this clown? Peter Talent doesn't disappear just like that. Well, sometimes it does. I mean, I mean, you were pretty bad in bed Saturday night. Come on, Lois, move or something. She's just like doing it with a pillow. Peter, I stayed at my mother's that night. Oh. Peter, don't. God, your hand is like ice. <laughs> Just here, give it to me. Oh, that'll warm it up a little. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, oh, oh. Peter, wait. Yes, yeah. <sighs> oh, Peter. I'm just going to watch British porn. <laughs> You know, Margaret, we could have sexual intercourse right now. Yes, yes, we could. Mm, but let's not. Now, perhaps some young gentleman would like to light me up. Allow me. So, uh, what's, uh, what's going on? You ever get freaky with that thing or what? Uh, Peter, this is not the best time. Glenn, are you coming? Uh, yeah, honey, I'll be right there. Wah, wah, I'll be right there. Uh, Peter, I'm really slammed right now. Can you give me the short version? Uh, what, uh, what's going on in there? Nothing. So, uh, as you can see, my family's here. And, uh, it's, it's game night. We're playing... sex. <laughs> wow, Quagmire's got a nice place. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh! What? What music are they playing? And guess what? I smuggled a whole bunch of fireworks back in my anus. Uh, Quagmire, fireworks aren't illegal here. You could have just put them in your car and driven them up here. Oh, yeah, that's just as fun. What are you doing? Censoring real life. His chin looks like balls. You want me to cover that, too? Yes. Brian doing? Oh, my God. He's violating Seabreeze. Oh, no, he's just awkwardly positioning himself. Now he's violating Seabreeze. Don't go in. You know, he reminds me a lot of me at that age. I just hope his teen years go better than mine. Boy, talk about awkward. Oh, oh Sandy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sandy. Oh. Sandy? Oh, not again. I'm going to be a virgin forever. Or am I? Hey, Doc, what did you do with my mom's fat? Oh, it's right here in the storage closet. That's uh, nasty shit. It's exactly what it looks like. Nasty mother... All right. Oh, no, no, it's not all right. I'm out of cash. Hey, you take bank cards? Sure. Can I get stamps, too? Mm. I swear, sometimes I feel like I'm married to a child. What can I say about my beautiful bride except milk, milk, lemonade around the corner fudge is made? <laughs> nice figure eight, Mom. <laughs> All right. Don't come in. Just a minute. Fresh. Yeah, Mother wants me and you to have a talk. No. Oh. Oh, I was going for a new record. The dog napper has been traced to the sleazy motel. Ah, I see my colleague Tom Tucker is already on the scene. Who's that, baby? <laughs> Hello, this is Tom Tucker. This is evil twin Todd Tucker out to destroy his brother's reputation. Uh -huh. 
Now I'm going back inside to have freaky sex with my prostitute, with whom I still have 45 minutes. Now back to this breaking news. Oh, come on, Chris. Everybody's done something they're not proud of. Like when I used to be a Wonder Twin. Peter, the old schoolhouse is on fire. Let's go. Wonder, Wonder Twin, Twin powers, powers activate. activate. Form of a hawk. Come on, Peter. Yeah, I'll be right behind you. Shape of Jaina's tampon. And now I play the waiting game. Ooh, titty. Stewie, Ooh. no! That is a bad place to touch. No, 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 no. But, 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 but I, I, you, I, I... Reverend Peter, I gotta talk to you. Last night I had sex with a teenage blonde and her mother. Well, that's quite a story, Quagmire, but my church doesn't have confession, so there's really no reason for you to tell me. Are you kidding? I'm telling everybody. giggity goo -ga. No. <sighs> Ah, oh, Lois, your breasts are great. Well, good morning, Mr. Nipple. Hey there. Must be cold in here. Ew, ew, that's so disgusting. Uh, 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 I hope I don't ever accidentally use that towel. Uh, 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 Peter, you're going to next play, and that's that. Is that that now, Mrs. That's That? If you're gonna shoot me, you might want to tie your shoelaces first. Now, are you gonna go to Meg's play or not? Yes! You like eating red carpet, tough guy? Yes! Say you like eating red carpet! I like eating red carpet! Giggity. Oh. I graded your quizzes from yesterday. Most of you did well. Some of you, I think, can do better. What do you see here, Chris? Two Ds and an F. All right, I'm just gonna relax, mellow out, and watch some television. We now return to World's Sluttiest Dogs on Fox. Motherfucker, what? What type of nasty shit? Hey, wait up! <laughs> what type of nasty right shit? World's Sluttiest Dogs. Hey, Dad. What the fuck? Thanks. What is he, what is he kicking? Oh, God. Dad, he's... you're pretty. Like your girl. You look like a totally different person. Oh, this is crazy. You walk in here with your chiseled jaw and you... Oh, my. Yep. I, yep, it's I really like that. I liked you the way you it's were. Really like You're not that. even real anymore. You... Peter, did you get a new buttocks? I had to. My old one had a crack in it. <laughs> well, I couldn't be more angry with you. Yep. Oh, you, you really let this family down. Yep. We should be embracing the things God gave us. Yep. Telling yep. our kids that a person's yep. not as good as someone else because of the way they look. Yep. <gasps> oh, really like crap. It's really yeah. like that. I don't think I'll ever beat you. Hey, Chris, what's with your leg? Oh, my <laughs> God, that's not your leg. Well, I, I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I don't really know that much about any kinky stuff. I mean, I, I could hook this car battery up to my nipples. How is this sexy? I'm just doing it for you. Are you, are you, oh my God. Are you moist yet? Kinky canines? You nasty! Was, was he just master? Yes. Oh, my. Why are you shitting? Do we... Do we rub his nose in it? Yes. Yes, we rub his nose in it. Besides, I know how to deal with children, unlike Mr. Geppetto. Oh, no, I dropped my glasses. Uh, by the way, uh, Pinocchio, uh, there was a cookie missing from the jar. Did you, uh, did you take it by any chance? Yes, Papa Geppetto. I'm sorry. Are... Take it from me, men. If any man ever bends over and spreads his anus for you, you are in bad company, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you must reevaluate your friendship group if this ever happens to you, sir. Are you sure you took it? Because uh, I'd believe you if you said you didn't. Wait, no, no, I took it, Papa. I wouldn't lie to you. Nope. You could try. Who knows? You might get away with it. <sighs> Tonight the babysitter comes, Rupert. Lovely Ladan. Mm. Oh, hey, Ladan. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Yeah. Oh, it's just me, Stewie. Just uh, being myself. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, well, well, this here. Oh, it's just my package. Yeah, just, just, uh, just uh, my package. God delivered it. Work. I signed for it. World keeps on spinning. Yeah. Oh, you can have sex. Just no moaning, no tongue kissing, no thrusting, no movement whatsoever. Well, nope. this isn't very romantic. I mean, how are we supposed to? I'm done. Night, Lois. Oh. Hey, Meg, come here. Have a seat. Dad, what are you doing? Meg, I'm a redneck. 
which means I am about to do something to you that you will not remember until you're 40. <coughs> hey, come back here. I meant sex. Let's have sex on his back like we used to. Motherfucker. Oh, what the hell's going on? Oh, oh, ew, 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 ew. Oh. Here, well, girl. One way to soften out the blowjob, just gotta... Mother... <sighs> nigga, what? Sorry, uh, I... I thought I smelled... cookies. Wow, does it really smell like cook... Oh, God, she farted and it went down my throat. I see you. <laughs> you deserve a big house and, and nice stuff. You know, like diamonds. Nope. Hell no. Ooh, she'll pretty much have to. <laughs> ah! Use it no. wisely, though. It wasn't easy to obtain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, hey, what the hell are you doing? Hey, give that back. Oh man. Now, where were we? <laughs> Oh, this is much better. Oh, no, come on. You're our best friend, Peter. Besides, I can remember a time when you saved all our butts. Mm -mm. Motherfucker, mm -mm. what? Yeah! Yeah, too bad I didn't get there till after the shot of me. Well, maybe if I'd seen you kiss your girlfriend. Fine. What Damn. was that? What, is she your grandmother? <laughs> That's no kiss. Watch this. Yeah, that is. Mm. Yup. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Peter, I gotta talk to you. Last night I had sex with a teenage blonde and her mother. Well, that's quite a story, Quagmire, but my church doesn't have confession, so there's really no reason for you to tell me. Are you kidding? I'm telling everybody. Giggity goo -ga. We open today's bidding with this pair of panties confiscated from a prostitute. Fifty bucks. She had nine STDs. Seventy bucks. Forty-five bucks. bucks. And when 45. we caught her, she wet herself. 80 bucks. 50 bucks. Boy, you guys, I really appreciate all the help you've been giving us. Except for you, Quagmire, you ain't done nothing. What the hell are you talking about? Lois is going to get the entire female vote because of me. I've been having sex with every woman in town nonstop for the past two days. You know how many sperm I got left? One. He's all alone in there and he's scared, all right? He's scared. Slime, we trust. 97.1. Guys, check it out. Quagmire's trying shit. to get lucky. Hey, gorgeous. You want to come home with me? I'm with my husband. Lose a zero, get with a hero. A little violent for you, don't you think? <laughs> I'll be right over there. Mr. Griffin, what I do with my husband is none of your business. Husband? Morning, Pete. Hope you and Molly can still join us for dinner tonight. Come here, baby. Let's go play schoolgirl and guy who has sex with schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> what that All right, let's see. What else is there? Um, I never gave a reach around to a spider monkey while reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, God. I, uh, I never picked up an illegal alien at Home Depot to take home and choke me while I touched myself. Oh, Shit. come on. Uh, I never did the same thing, but with someone from Joanne Fabrics. Oh, God, this is ridiculous. Oh. Hey, Lois, I'm ready for your pie. And you made dessert, too. Oh. Oh, Glenn, I love all your sex jokes and your dirty puns. That's why I married you. Mm. Let's go upstairs and do it. Okay! Whoa, you guys gotta try this. Hey, look at me. I'm a pole in a strip club. Oh! It's showtime. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, oh! Hey, stop! False alarm! Ah, ah. Uh, Mr. Cragmire, can I use your toothpaste? <gasps> Oh my god, excuse me. Hey, no problem, Meg. You probably bought me another three minutes. Giggity, 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 giggity. Nice figure eight, Mom. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh -huh. A couple of teeth and some toenail clippings, and we'll be traded. <laughs> hey, he said he was going to distract that social worker. Mm, oh. Glenn, honey, I have a question for you. What do you do for a living? <laughs> hey, I have a question for you, too. Why are you still here? Right this way, everyone. Bless you for helping us, Father. It's God's wish, my dear. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and guess what? I smuggled a whole bunch of fireworks back in my anus. 
Uh, Quagmire, fireworks aren't illegal here. You could have just put them in your car and driven them up here. Oh, yeah, that's just as fun. Sorry, Quagmire. Your crotch just looks like Lois to me. Well, let's ask her then. Hey, Lois, should Peter sit around and mope all night? Motherfucker. Or should Peter go out with his buddy and have some fun? <laughs> all right. Motherfucker, what? Yeah, our neighborhood hasn't been this united since Quagmire figured out how to get us free cable. Oh, we are not bad people. We just don't want to pay $12 a month for Cinemax. Oh, uh, it's the same color as his eyes. Oh, wow. I bet he looks so hot driving it. I heard he bought it from his dad. Yeah, I remember his dad dropped him off at school in it one time when he was a freshman. Doesn't his dad live in Hartford? I think so. My Aunt Sheila lives in Hartford. They have a mall there that's pretty cool. It's like part underground. Oh, that's awesome. Damn it, you guys are boring the crap out of me. Stupid mindless chatter is what it is. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go back to my place and rent a dirty movie. This is ridiculous. That was weird. Oh well. Hey, let's compare breasts. I love you, Glenn. I love you too, insane woman I'm having second thoughts about. What? All right. Let's go home and get tender with your wife. I don't know, Quagmire. Love making with Loretta has somehow lost its intimacy. <laughs> All right. I don't know, fellas. I think there's potential in this crowd. <laughs> hey, honey, why don't you turn around and show me the Lower East Side? <laughs> sure. Whoa, transvestite, back off. Wait a sec, pre-op or post-op? Pre-op. Whoa, transvestite, back off. You're right, this place blows. Here's this month's Victoria's Secret catalog. Oh, oh God, oh God, uh, 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 dead kittens, dead kittens, uh, uh, old nuns, uh, really old nuns, uh, Renee Zellweger. Oh, there we go. That's just cruel, bro. That's so cruel. Quagmire, you're the boss because you never give up. Like with the ladies. Gemini. Oh. Capricorn. Oh. <laughs> well, I know you're not a Virgo. Ah. Hey, from down here, you look like a Pisces. Ah. Lois is the only woman for me. Well, then it sounds like you've got to find a way to win her back. Yeah, like like we could get her drunk and take turns having sex with her. How would that help me? Oh, help you. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, then no. No, that then that, that wouldn't help you. When I was growing up, it was just me and my mom. See, Peter, it wasn't so bad. Yeah, except for having to sit next to that screaming autistic lady in the waiting room. Oh. That's not really that scary, actually. I don't know what you want. I don't know how to help. So, I'm having this housewarming thing tonight, and I'd love it if you came by. Yeah, that sounds great. Anything beats what goes on at my house Friday nights. Oh. Hey, Lois, what's going on here? Oh, it's my book club, Peter. Come join us. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> No. Come on, Catter. Everybody's got to retire at some point. Like that drill sergeant with Alzheimer's. That didn't Looks like we got a joker here. What's your name, soldier? Sir McArdle, sir! Well, no <laughs> You look like some kind of joker to me. What's your name, soldier? Sir McArdle, sir! Are you <laughs> me? Probably some kind of joker. What's your name, soldier? Sir McArdle, sir! Well, la dee <laughs> da I guess we got some kind of joker here. What are you guys watching? We now return to the first time travel movie with a perfectly functioning time machine. All right, if I'm correct, this should land us in 6 million BC. Really? Quick, get us out of here! Oh. Boy, that was close. Oh my God, where's Frank? I'm over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, damn that. Really? Morning, family. Anyone needs me, I'll be out in the yard using my new riding mower. A riding mower? For God's sake, stop making all these frivolous purchases. You just blew all that money hiring that English to raccoon translator. Oh. <laughs> Don't need a translator for that one. Tell him to come back when he's ready to act like an adult. Well, when I find that person, I'm going to strangle him. I had a life and he took it away from me. I don't remember it, but I bet it was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, me too. I bet I was a doctor who had to deal with a lot of serious stuff, but always found a way to keep things light. You gotta keep things light. Oh my god, she's beautiful. Yeah, she is. It's not yours. Yours died. Ho, ho! Coming this fall, from the producers of Gone Baby Gone, comes the riveting sequel, Gone Severely Disabled Baby Gone. Severely I promise disabled. you, we are going to find your daughter. Okay. 
you know, do do what you can, but seriously, don't like kill yourself. Oh, and if you do find her, honk this horn a couple times. It's the only way to get her to stop biting you. But again, no rush. Huh? Damn it, this is what I was afraid was gonna happen. This town is gonna go to hell. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. What's up, a nasty I'm glad we shit? waited. How do you simp on a giraffe? Giraffity! Simp? Yeah, see, that's not mine. Oh, never mind. Good. Here's what I want to do is stay here, get drunk, and watch TV. We now return to Michael McDonald during allergy season. <gasps> Well, we're just glad we can have people over again now that that giant crab's gone. Hey, guys, how you doing? Come on in. No, 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 no. Just go around it. He's not gonna hurt you. Just go around it. No, 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 no. All right, I tried just going under him. I think we should probably just go home. Maybe we'll do it another time. No, 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 no. Well, is you out of your mind? We can't let Quagmire take Meg out on a date. That guy will bang anything. Hey, Lois, I'm starving. What's for dinner? I made meatloaf. It's in the fridge. Hey, oh. do you mind? But I have to get dinner. Go out. You have sex with the meatloaf? What am I gonna do? Okay, it's all right. I'll just get a little bit of paint and cover up the dents. Yes, cover up the Unattractive dents. women do it all the time. They really do. You look pretty <laughs> today, Carol. Thanks. It's probably just the dress and the makeup. Oh, now that I look closer, yeah, I think that's what it is, too. Oh, my God. Are you ready? You better believe it. As long as there ain't no zesty clips. Oh, Peter. Yeah, now your turn. And Don't do you... it how I like. <laughs> okay. Y'all better not be sending me zesty clips. No more zesty family guy clips. Yeah, don't wash the mouthpiece. That's some nasty shit. We now return to Dracula in San Francisco. Why does it got to be in San Francisco, though? I don't do San Francisco. I went there once. Oh, ooh, I hate needles. Hate needles. Ooh, well, that's why we have the lab. Must be syphilis. You know, can Again. you forgive me? Oh, I suppose so. I mean, Magellan forgave the land ho prankster. Land ho! Where? Where? Psych. Made you look, loser. Good thing there wasn't land or else you'd have to meet the natives with that mustard stain on your shirt. What stain? Ah. Ah. Why did I even bring you on this trip? Because I'm the best damn land spotter in all of Europe. It's true, you are the best. Yeah, I don't need you to tell me that. Boy, they're really against socialism. That's right, the Tea Party is all about self-reliance. Look, there's even a tunnel of self-love. What's a tunnel of self-love? Don't beat your meat! Not in front of people. What the but No! Would you like to buy a photo of yourself on the ride, sir? No, I would not. No. It's probably a weird fetish thing. Some criminals have them. Like those anal retentive bandits who robbed Quahog Bank last year. All right, hands in the air, vertically. Both arms should be parallel to each other. You, fill this bag with clean, unmarked bills. But first, fix that notepad so it's at a right angle with the corner of your desk. And tap that pile of receipts against a flat surface so they're not sticking out haphazardly. You know what? Forget about the money. Everybody grab a broom. We are straightening this place up. Oh. I'm going to be in so much trouble when they find out I wrecked Brian's car. They'll probably ship me off to Siberia. It sucks. I'd much rather I hate be it here. Than Shut the up. Drink wolf milk and watch Russian cartoons. Wolves don't give milk. I'll return to popular Russian cartoon shoe and shoeless. Shoe and shoeless. One is meaningless without the other. Yep. Take this up out at that point. We now return to Britain's most popular game show. Wheel of politeness. Do go ahead, then. Oh, no, you first. Wouldn't dream of it. Too kind, really, I insist. Wouldn't be proper of me. I appreciate your courtesy. Likewise. Well, we're all out of time. Join us same time tomorrow if it's not entirely inconvenient for you. If so, of course, we do understand, and we do apologize in advance. This has all been an imposition. I'm so dreadfully sorry. 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 Sorry, everyone. Lois, it just sounds like busy work. It is busy work. I'm trying to keep you off the streets and off drugs. I'm selling those candy bars. Hey, 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 you want to buy some candy bars so we can get some new drug uniforms dealer. for our baseball team? Where'd you get those candy bars? <laughs> Happy birthday. You're the coolest. Well, Got then me. what are all the cars doing out there? Oh, they must be from Mort's party. 
Okay, the first rule of no. Jewish Fight Club is if somebody says Terrible ow, party. you stop. Ow. Okay, let's see. During his 22-year reign, this French monarch known as the Spider King had an ongoing feud with Charles the Bold, Duke of Burgundy. Dr. Octopus, Peter? who was King Louis XII? Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. We were looking for King Louis XI. Ah, damn it, I knew Shit. that. Ah, well, me and the with a big black King Louis XI. Tim, select. She is. Adults are stupid. The world would be so much better if it were run by babies. Tonight on NBC, shapes. <coughs> and then, colors. <coughs> Followed by an all new Dad's Keys. <coughs> if he even lays a finger on my family, I'll do to him what I did to the Riddler. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! 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 Could be some sort of lookout who spots girls fresh off the plane. Yes, you're probably right, Brian. Such scum. I bet they target young girls the way army commercials target minorities. Hey, other black guys, it ain't so bad. Well, you just think you're so superior, don't you? Like that first creature to walk on dry land. Hey, where'd you go? I went for a jog. What's a jog? It's a great way to stay in shape is what it is. Is it like a swim? Uh, 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 <laughs> no, no, it's it's nothing like a swim. Ah! Oh. oh no, you cut your forehead. What do we do? Hey kids, if you have an open wound, get some dirt or kitty litter and rub it in there to stop the bleeding. Then no. get some sleep and wait for the body to heal itself. Now we know. And like I always say, remember, you know enough. Don't use kitty litter. Kitty litter's not good. Rubbing it in your wounds. Looking back on it now, I don't think our lives are so bad. Yeah, I sure do miss Lois and the kids. They I'll tell you one thing, when I get home, I'm gonna sleep like a log. Hey, I'm gonna plug in the nightlight if you don't mind. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and ask you to not do that. They can do things to you that regular chicks don't even think of. Besides, you know me. I'm Mex into a lot of different stuff. Mexicans? Turtles. No, I never had sex with a turtle what, before. Did you hear something? No, nah, it's all good. All right. Never had sex with a turtle. Hey, Peter, what are you going to tell Lois when she asks where you were tonight? Don't worry, I got it all covered. You got it all covered? <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome! And Peter has no idea! Maybe it's time to ease off, huh? What are you talking about, Lois? Dad's getting drunk on Thanksgiving is a holiday tradition. I work hard to put a cornucopia on this table, and you're out showing your lower ankle to every Tom, Tom, and other Tom in our village. Don't talk to mother in like fashion. That's it. The belt is coming off. <laughs> Come on. That's not a laugh. I was just thinking about laughing. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, no. Now I got to take care of the babies. Nope. Nope. Wow, my picture in the paper. I didn't even get that when I brought that kitten and gorilla together. Huh? Did I tell you, Lois? Oh, that's beautiful, Peter. That's She's pretty. taking care of that kitten like it's her own. Like it's yep, her own I knew eventually gorilla baby. She'd stop tearing him in half. Oh, God. That's fucked Jeez, up. Every cop in town is here. I know. Who do you think's taking care of the city? No. 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 What the hell? Come on! No drive. He's wet. Ah, we'll be all right. Hotel in Amish country can't be any worse than staying in a youth hostel. Hi, I'd like a room. Uh, preferably one where I have to sleep with my bag taped to my body. Uh, we have one where some Italian backpackers have laid out every item of clothing they own on all of the beds. Oh, perfect. Will my bunkmates be constantly talking about me in a foreign language? Yes, they will, sir. Oh, great. Uh, also, I'm going to have some mail delivered here, and I want it to sit in that box for four years. Oh, and what street is the bathroom on? I don't know who's crazy. Are these people or those Seventh-day Adventists? I'm a Methodist. We believe that the Lord is our Savior, and we remember him by going to church and praising him every Sunday. You do I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. We believe all the same things Seventh that you believe, Adventist. but we go to church on Saturdays. What? <laughs> hey, 
that was some good teamwork, Brian. We were like Lewis and Clark and the guy who likes to tip over canoes. Ugh, these rapids are treacherous. We should reach calmer waters by nightfall. Uh-oh! Definitely calmer waters. Hey, come on! Careful! Damn it, why is he still with us? I know. Until now, walking to the other end of the United States seemed like such a good job. Hey, do you think maybe you'd want to hang out sometime? What, you mean like a movie or something? Yeah, or, or maybe lunch? I had a bad experience last time I went to the movies. We're good friends, aren't we, Milo? We're best friends, Otis. No! No! I reject the premise of this! Oh, son of a bitch, I gotta spend the rest of the day watching stupid kid shows? I'd rather watch paint dry. Mouth's a mouth, man. A mouth's a mouth. Nice. Hey, don't be so surprised. I've been pounding the pavement for you, buddy. I even gave out all my business cards. Call me! 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 Call me. <laughs> ah, show business. Oh, we did it. Your plan worked, Joe. I told you those guards would turn away. Yeah, Joe, that was amazing. That was easier than taking candy from a premature baby. What type of shit? I'm, uh, I'm just gonna take this. That's really shitty. I guess I could try it. Trust me, Peter. Yeah, I was right about telling you to go see the gynecologist, wasn't I? I'd like to see some vaginas, please. Oh. That's what we're here for. Come on in. Did that really work like that? Yeah! Can it? What's going on? Did I miss something? Nah, just some idiot streaking across please? the field. Ha uh, ha, uh, you are all looking at my penis. You didn't plan on it, but it's happening. That's right, and that means he had you first, Lois. I'll always be Scotty Pippen to his Michael Jordan. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Jordan! I'm Scotty Pippen. He's also oh. good. Why didn't they do Jordan last? Alphabetical? Oh, right, that's smart. You're smart, but still. Joe, your 25-year-old son and your baby daughter share a room just so you can keep a weirdo beautiful mind room? Isn't that a little bizarre? And then we dug the bullets out of that Iraqi family's skulls so they couldn't be traced back to us. Today, I saw a balloon. Oh, boy. Listen, thanks for putting up with me the last couple weeks. Hey, no problem. You put up with me when I was barefoot, guy. Boy, nothing like a beer with the fellas, eh? Don't put your feet up, mother... Peter, would you mind putting on some shoes? Oh, Dirty. you mean foot prisons? Yes, I would. Nasty motherfucker. I think he's right about that. After all, we couldn't even turn a double play. All right, Griffin's on the ground. We're going to second. Let's turn two here. Ground ball's a double play. Ball plays at second. Let's look sharp. Tough D, tough D. Let's flash that leather. Heading the game. Plays a second. This infield is a great wall of China. Nothing's getting past us. Good D behind you, Bri. Good D all around. <laughs> I'm okay, everyone. Don't worry. I am okay. My voice sounds weird. This is weird, I know, but I feel fine. I can get you steady work with a voice like that. Really? Wow, thank you. It, this is great. Now I won't have to become a Mary Kay saleswoman. So what makes these shampoos different from the ones at the supermarket? These shampoos have been in my car. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. I mean, usually the shows suck in this town. Like Moisture, the low-energy bar mitzvah clown. Moisture? Ooh, what's this? A quarter? I found it behind your ear earlier. All right, that's enough tricks for you. I'm gonna go lie down on the coats. We climbed Mount Everest! Isn't it amazing, Brian? You can see for... Oh, you're doing your pee thing. Right. I don't really know what the point is. I mean, there's no way other dogs can smell this. Trust me, Stewie, they'll know. They'll know the world is now mine. <laughs> no way. Well, that sounds awfully lonely. Like being an NBA player on the road. Baby, I miss my wife so much. Thanks for understanding that we can't do anything. I just want to cuddle. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm just doing what a man should do, respecting the sacred institution of marriage. Dumbass. And now, straight to sleep. Dumbass. This message brought to you by the NBA. Yep. Let's all pretend this happens. Yep, do that and watch what it gets you. Is Randall Evan Battencourt. God, I hate understudies. King Louis the Sixteenth has been sentenced to death by guillotine. Guillotine was a Assassin's Creed. Part of King Louis the Sixteenth will be played by Jean de Menard. Aww. Relax, you're gonna do great. <sighs> Nailed it. Great. Trust me, nobody's gonna give you a hard time. And even if they do, just ignore them. That's what I do with that weekend bully. 
Hey, your weekend sucks. I've already gone on a hike and fixed a few things around my house. What are you doing? Peter, who is that man? I don't want to talk about it. Beat his No, ass. no, no. What are you doing? How long you been there? Beat his Those ass. names is no good. Look, why don't y'all just give me a list? I'll run him up to God and see if he picks one. No. No. That's the name of a champagne. No. No, terrible. These are all just terrible. Relax, God. You want me to get y'all some wine and cheeses? Wait, what'd you just say? Cheeses. You want some cheeses? Oh, come on. They're not all bad. Oh, yes, I've seen the women you bring home. That stutterer, she was a real prize. How are you enjoying your meal? L L L Lois, it's d d d delicious. Oh, for crying out loud. Peter, why are you turning up the heat again? Lois, this woman is obviously freezing. I wish my daddy were here. He always knows what to do. Ah, son of a bitch. Well, I better leave a note. It's the right thing to do. Leave a note? I did this to somebody. Hey. Hey. Damn it. He already started. If I don't start peeing soon, it's gonna be weird. He'll be all done and I'll still be here. Come on, Peter. Pee. Your dad fought in World War II and you can't even pee in a urinal. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh. All set? Yep. <laughs> I know you didn't go. I'm gonna go pee in a stairwell. Oh, that's racist. Are you saying you want me to stop hanging out with Joe and Quagmire? They're my friends. They're all I got. And you know how hard it is for me to make new friends. <sighs> Motherfucker, is this what? Friends? Hi, NBC. This is Peter Griffin. Listen, you guys are doing a great job. If anybody knows what America wants in the 90s, it's NBC. But I just have one small request. I like Dateline, but I really hate waiting two hours to find out who the killer is. Tonight on Dateline, a woman murdered. Was it her ex-boyfriend? Yes, it was. I knew it. I knew it was the ex-boyfriend. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, I could use the money, and I'm getting kind of tired of my old job. Only a half a point divides our top two competitors as we enter the last event, the Meg Roll. Oh. Maybe that wash off I'm telling you, the founding fathers would be very disappointed in where their country ended up. Eh, it wasn't so perfect back then either. And so I say unto you, sons of liberty, no longer will free men live under the yoke of giant predatory birds, shrieking, swooping down, stealing our livestock. Predator. What's going on in here? N nothing. Uh, just belly aching about the British. Get back to warming those eggs. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Miss Lohan! Lindsay! Over yeah. here, Lindsay! Lindsay Lohan? Excuse me, which one was Lindsay Lohan's dessert fork? Uh, I think it was that one. Yeah, you're gonna get syphilis. There you go. Give me uh, cocaine! Oh. <laughs> Oh, honey, I'm so excited to finally meet your girlfriend. Here she comes now. Yoo-hoo, baby! Oh. Oh, no! Oh. That's not racist. Okay, let's split up and meet in an hour in front of the yak shack. And my mom is pounding on the door, and I'm like, Mom, don't come in here. I'm yakking off. Mother. Oh. So I've been carrying this really promiscuous guide around, and my back starts itching. I go to the doctor. Turns out I got Sherpies. Ha-ha! <laughs> Yeah, I'll meet you guys here. I'm just going to be here. What is Serpies? This isn't fair! Swanson, you know your assignment. You get me the guy who's been rubbing his butt all over Dunkin' Donuts. Can I help you? Not illegal, not illegal. Show me the law, not illegal. Oh, Stewie, how exciting. Your first visit to a real fire station. Yeah, you kids always loved your first trip to the fire station. You remember when we took Meg? First trip to the fire station? You motherfucker! <laughs> I hate him! His mouth is always open like P. Diddy. Well, what do you mean? You ever notice how in every photo of P. Diddy, his mouth is hanging open? Well, actually, Diddy hired a guy to close his mouth for him. I'm telling you, this kid is the next Justin Bieber. Young girls love him, but he makes real music that... Sorry I'm late. Traffic. Yeah, but don't get your hopes up, Lois. I couldn't afford to get you what I got you last year. I know how you like that song, so I got you two turtle doves. Where'd you get these? I went to a scientist and had him genetically engineered. Fly, beautiful turtle doves. Mother. Bring Christmas cheer to all. Oh, 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 Everybody oh. outside. We'll do the rest of Christmas outside. Oh. Go, go, go. Dad, how did you get Mom out of the house so we could decorate? Well, Chris, I constructed a very elaborate fake grocery store. Oh, my God. Are these pickles?
those really only 39 cents? That's right, ma'am. Wow, this is incredible. Oh, it was a Wiley Coyote type shit. What the hell's going on here? Oh. Be a little more thoughtful with your choices. What are you talking about? I'm just having a little fun. For God's sakes, I've just been handed the coolest freaking toy on the planet. Well, you know, except for hungry, hungry Alec Baldwin's. Oh, are hey, they I'm really not, that fat? I'm not even touching the lever. Are they that fat in real life? Permission to begin <laughs> a day of epic lovemaking, sexy lady. Really? Permission granted, sir. And if I need help, I'll just fantasize about that Victorian stripper. Yeah, you slut. Doth the magistrate know what you're doing tonight? Good. Now undo the top six buttons of your hundred-button shoes. Oh. Oh, yeah, I sure had my troubles when I got involved with the Boy Scouts. At no time were the campers and Mr. Griffin naked simultaneously. They merely engaged in horseplay. Did Mr. Griffin sodomize the boys? Mr. Griffin vehemently denies all allegations. Motherfucker. Well, I hope everyone had a fun afternoon at the firehouse. I sure did, Mom. I can't wait for the next family outing. Oh, thanks, Mike. I hate fire stations. No problem, man. Who doesn't? Is that alcohol on your breath? Yeah, maybe. maybe. You're playing uh, this too fast and loose, Mike! It's always fast, fast and loose. This, but I was wondering if you want to go to Vegas with me and see Celine Dion. Are you kidding? Of course I want to go. Wow, these are good seats. <laughs> I know. Apparently they were donated by Goldman's Pharmacy. Turns out Mort's cousin is Celine's opening act. <laughs> really? What's his talent? I understand he's a magician of sorts. All right, for this next trick, I need a quarter from the audience. Okay, thank you. Oh! <laughs> All right, I'm going to the store. Anybody need anything? Yeah, can you get a chest set and a backwards hat? I got some inner city school kids I got to inspire tomorrow. Oh, you really okay, Darius, out. point to the king. <laughs> That's right. It's you. I'm going to miss drinking at the clam. I'll tell you what I won't miss. That waiter who thinks he has to be funny. Yes, I'd like to chop salad, please. And could I get no onions on that? Hmm, I've got a few connections in the back. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, that's funny. If there's one onion on that salad, you can forget the eighty tip you need to live. Oh. Couldn't you tell something was up when Chris and the fat man could follow the plot? I mean, it took Peter a year to figure out Stuart Little. I just figured it out. Stuart means mouse. No, Peter. Little means mouse? No, Peter. That's racist. I feel so old and in the way. That's racist. Oh, we don't need a map, Brian. I got us a GPMS machine. Go up. What do you think? Just go up. Sorry. Okay, can everyone just stop freaking out and just give me like two minutes? Must be a black God. Leader. <laughs> yep, there you go. Everyone's always yelling at me. What you are all the in, questions? Bitch. You want right, to be the well, leader, maybe bitch? we'll turn you on later and see how you feel. You want to leave the way so nice home? in the store. Hey, wait a minute. If this is an imposter, then this guy we're following never had cancer. Yeah, so? Well, you're a dog. Can't you just sniff cancer? No, that's just a myth we started so we could stick our snouts in girls' boobs. <sighs> it's nice to have a clean bill of health. Well, for now, the key is weekly follow-ups. Yes. You know, cervical weekly cancer is also a problem. Cervical my cancer. thinks he might have prostate cancer. Nope, doesn't. Uh, I can only check for vagina Just Stay away from cancer. my booze. It wasn't me, Brian. Well, if it wasn't you, who was it? I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff going on around here lately. Just yesterday, somebody ladies. gave Peter a hot butt. La, 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 what the la, hell is a hot regular butt? Regular life. La, 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 ah! How you just figure that out? Do you want an excuse to not go home this Christmas? Every then time. fly Northwest Airlines. At Northwest Airlines, thousands of employees are dedicated to delaying and canceling flights so you won't get home for the holidays. No way I'm getting you on your connecting flight. No way we're taking off on time. Don't worry, I'm taking this flight back to the gate. Do you think Jeff will make it home this year? No way, Fuck because no, Jeff bitch. flew Northwest. Thanks, Northwest. I hate my family. Hey, what's that? I thought all the space shuttles were decommissioned. Well, we always keep one spacecraft flight ready in the event a satellite needs service, there's a space station emergency, or an Italian guy needs to over-exaggerate. I swear to God, Johnny, I've had it up to... Here with your BS. Ooh, he's really had it this time. <laughs> he's really I'm sorry, mad. Louis. <laughs> All right, then. I'm sorry, Guess Louis. Guess I could clear my schedule. Oh, you won't regret it, Brian. Louis, All the most I'm important sorry. Broadway people will be there. Playwrights, money men, even Stanley Kowalski. 
Hi, I'm Michael. Michael! Michael! Um, and this is my wife, Nancy. Nancy! Nancy! And this is our Uzbekistani friend, Boykyav Roychescu. Hi. Peter, you awake? It's a beautiful day. Mm, yeah, I'm just glad I didn't die from that weird sleep-breathing thing I have. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yep, just making sure. Better luck next time, pal. Some people got moves, others don't. Been that way forever. You. Me. Sex. Him legend. Really? Hello, American Airlines Magazine. Have I got a scoop for you. Falcon stolen. Ew, there's a toenail in this. Guess I'll just go back to coughing. <coughs> oh. <coughs> yep, cough it up. Oh! Oh! Oh, the children! This press conference is over. This has been Trisha Takanawa with the news. And now I will have my normal post-news review from my mom in her car. Why is he You're no good! You're no good on news! You're stiff like watching board! Joe London mother so happy! Trisha Takanawa mother so sad! So? Hey guys, I think for the time being, bitch? we're gonna have to start thinking in terms of survival. Yeah, we're just gonna have to do what Davy Crockett would do. I mean, that guy killed a bear when he was only three. Honey, don't you think it's weird that our three-year-old son is murdering animals? Nonsense! He's a healthy, normal young boy. Ma! Pa! I killed my pet raccoon! Why, Davy? So I could have this cool hat, and because it felt like heaven when I was doing it. Damn. Yeah, I don't care for this place. Last time I was here, I accidentally walked into a Spanish picnic. <laughs> Excuse me, has anyone seen a toy car around here? Ooh, it's baby. I make beautiful. No. Oh. oh. Don't get any ideas about Julio. I am his number one. Oh boy. What you slut? Oh, you we know you didn't mean it, Jerome. It's just a terrible situation. Like when you're the only one at the table where the waiter doesn't say good order. I'll have the halibut? Ah, great choice. One of the chef's specialties. You'll love it. It was caught fresh less than 10 miles from here. I'll have the New York strip steak. Mmm, my absolute favorite dish here. It is a spectacular cut, superbly seasoned, and the marbling is some of the best I've ever seen. And I'll have the chicken. Mm-hmm. Just think of this farm as our next great adventure. Like when we tried to invade the city of Troy. Y'all yeah, niggas tried to invade the city of Troy. That's doing too much. What is Peter, that? I don't think this is the right horse. I am 100% positive this is the right horse. Oh, boy. Yeah, this seems like it'll be fun. Real fun, not entertain your wife's parents while your wife is at work fun. Laura gets home at 7, so I figure we can stare at our wine glasses till then. Oh. So, uh, so when, when do you guys think you're gonna die? Oh. You, Leatherman, oh. you sell me donkey. I don't know what it is, but you have got it. Damn it, there's no way across. Spidey, can you swing us across with your web? No, I can't swing you across. And it's Spider-Man, not Spidey. I'm pretty sure I've heard people call you Spidey. Yeah, close friends. What's your name? Peter. Hey, Petey, do stuff for me. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, you don't like it. You're a fat nobody and I'm Spider-Man, so how do you think I feel? What type of shit? Oh my god, are you all right? I'm fine. Lucky for you, this tree was my destination. Motherfucker. We need leadership. What have we done? Well, you know, Lois, it's never easy hearing the truth. Especially from a fortune cookie. Your wife is thinking of leaving What does you. it say, Peter? Uh, just something about perseverance. What does yours say? It says I'm very creative. He knows. You should do it now. <laughs> No, I'm gonna write a play. I can do lots of things. I was the human resources director for the Muppets. Mr. Beaker, it is my unfortunate task to inform you that your services will no longer be required by this company. <coughs> well, if you must know, it's because we've noticed large quantities of benzene, ephedrine, and everyday Epsom salt have gone missing. <coughs> oh, please, we both know those are the ingredients used to make crystal meth. 
And I've got a pretty good idea who you've been selling it to as well. Oh, hey, uh, Baker, when you're done talking to your friend, I want to, uh, I want to talk to you about that thing. Oh, the play's about to start. Mom, am I going to fit in the seat or is this going to be like last time? Oh. This should tide you over for a while. Well, at I'll least the seats hold his titties up. Mm. At least the seats hold his titties she's up. She's not like coming sides. back, you know. How do you know that? Because she's my mom, too. Oh. oh, I can. I'm a very passionate man. Haven't you ever seen my Spanish soap operas? Mi amor. Papa. Niño. Bueno. No, I hope so. We were supposed to go to the library to wipe boogers in fancy books. I like to wipe mine in Bronte novels. It's like a time bomb to gross out lonely chicks. Oh, Heathcliff. Oh, come on! I want so little! <laughs> well, this seems like a good time to be heading out. I should be getting back anyway. I left Rupert with a sitter. Well, you know where everything is. Feel free to help yourself to anything in the fridge. And Mr. Con Man here can have pudding or ice cream, not both. You can't just pretend to be something you're not. Yes, just ask Edward Scissorhands. Okay, now. I'm an excellent night nurse, so you two get some much-deserved sleep and don't worry about a thing. That's I will take such loving care of this wonderful little gift. Such and loving care. And when you care. wake up well-rested, your precious little baby will be smiling as bright as the precious sun. Precious little baby will be smiling as bright as the sun. That's what's up. It's dead. God damn it. I like you. I can tell we're going it's to be dead. good friends. We've got that unspoken bond that all bald guys have. I thought he'd never leave. Me neither. Zestiness! No! Oh, oh, yeah. Motherfuckers! Oh, did you guys just do the thing? Guy, she's really obsessed with him. Well, obsession's not such a bad thing. It got us the first printing press. You're a whore, Sheila, and I'm gonna make sure everybody knows it! Oh. Man, he big man. Look, look like he's making smoke signals. Here! I can't read. No one can read. All right, come on, everyone. We gotta put our heads together and try to find a solution. Don't worry. Griffins have a long history of figuring stuff out. Like my great-grandfather, who invented the first marital aid. This gives me an idea. She's dead. And over here are my toys. This is my fire truck, my slinky, my silly putty. You know, silly putty's awesome, but you know what's really cool? Serious putty. Hmm? Oh, this looks like fun. It says I have cancer. Oh. I thought it would be better if you heard it from chemicals in an egg. God. It's enormous. Lois, this is probably a terrible time to remember this, but I think I might have left a weed whacker on. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. KC and the Sunshine Band is playing. Why? Or we could visit the Pershing House where John Pershing took control of the 8th Army Brigade in 1914. So that's his bed? Yes. So that's his desk? Yes. So that's his lamp? Yes. So that's his dresser? Yes. So that's his window? Yes. So that's his floor? Yes. Wow. That's okay, honey. Everyone makes mistakes. Yeah, remember when the fat man brought home that cougar chick? You make yourself comfortable, Beth. I'll be right back. Hi, young man. I'm looking for a good time. Uh-huh. I'm worldly. I'm fun. This ain't mileage. This is experience. Not interested. Listen, just so there are no surprises, don't be scared. My stuff looks like someone spilled an apple pie on my lap. Ugh. 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 But I guess every girl has her own version of Prince Charming. I'm in love with Paul. I'm in love with John. You know what? I'm in love with Ringo. What? Um, I said... I, I don't know what I said. Sounded like you said you were in love with Ringo. Um, I don't, I don't think so. Pretty sure you said I'm in love with Ringo. Here I am. Are Paul and John out there? Nope, just Ringo. Oh. Man, high school is rough. This year it's sneakers. Last year it was all about being overweight and wearing a baseball cap. Hey guys, sure hope we win the big game on Saturday. Get lost, dork. Yeah, gain some weight, will ya? Is that first with a man? <laughs> oh, of all the years to be trim and well-hatted. Oh. Uh, you know, I have got to get myself back out there, too. I haven't performed since I was in Stewman Group. 
I don't get it. What is this? We don't know either. No, I just read the back where it's printed in French. You speak French. Sure, they love me in France. Oh, Quagmire! Shh, Quagmire! Silence! C'est Quagmire! Oui, Quagmire. <laughs> Quagmire! Ah, Quagmire! Oh, Quagmire, don't fall near the mousetrap! You owe me from when I took you to see Shakespeare in the pack. Even though it was the part of the pack where the gay guys go to have sex. To be or not to be. Yeah! Ah, right there! Ignore that. That's not part of the play. That is the question. Whether it is nobler. This isn't love, by the way. Hey, look. This guy's picking his nose. <laughs> look, now he's eating it. Chris, Dirty knock it off. You're going to get me in trouble. Meg, they're dead. Would you stop being so uptight? You're like one of those Asian Americans who fought in Vietnam. Ah! Oh, it's just me. You... <laughs> I can't believe this. But it's not like it's the first time you made a big family decision without consulting me. Oh! Yes, I'd like to see your quietest doctor. Hey, you know, I heard when you drink at high altitude, it hits you even faster. Ooh, ooh. Whoa, party! I love you guys. You don't know how much you mean to me. You think you're better than me? Why can't you hit a curveball? I've done nothing with my life. Damn. It won't be so hard. After all, I've certainly done worse. I replaced Peter's I can't believe it's not butter with real butter. But what? I can't, I can't believe you. I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real butter. Your husband murdered three children. Oh. Indeed, a force to be reckoned with, like Secretary of Energy Stephen Chu. Secretary Chu, Ways and Means has sent over a preliminary budget. It looks like the Department of Energy is looking at a 4% budget cut. <laughs> okay, no budget cut. No budget cut. Here you go, that's the spirit, buddy. There's a little bit of good in everyone. Except that president guy from the Hunger Games. He was pretty bad. This year, in addition to the Hunger Games, we're going to do the special Hunger Games. I'm Andy! I love you, Andy! Come on, guys, fight. What type of shit? Oh. I know. There's Come a on, lot fight. of crazy things I'll let Peter get away with. I even held my tongue when he went through that anime phase. You held your hey, tongue? Hey, Lewis, me make drive time to a super fun clam with Noble Quagmire and Wheel Monster Joe. Go Force! <laughs> Yep, yep. Yeah, I love I parties. I mean, I had a great time at my baby shower. Well, after opening all these gifts, I could use a little wine right now myself. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm sorry, my hormones are just crazy right now. And being out here sucks. I mean, I'm not a forest guy. I'm, I'm more of a take it all in at the beach guy. That doesn't sound better. <sighs> Excuse me, sir. This is private property. What are you doing? <sighs> Just taking it all in. You're staring at my daughter's bedroom. She's really grown into her oh, body. My this is going to be a fun summer for her. Wow, Brian, that's a great idea. And hey, maybe I could give the speech at your graduation. I'm really good at that. And so, as I look out at your smiling faces filled with hope, all I can think is, you are completely screwed. As Martin Luther King once said, ouch, I've been shot. Thank you. That family is the pinnacle of high society. They, they haven't worked in eight generations. All the kids have drug problems. Most of them have OD'd. That's terrible. Well, not all kids make it, Lois. Just ask the Sugar Smacks frog. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm afraid you've lost two more. What should we do about the graves? Dig them. <laughs> I don't belong here, and they know it. People can always sense a fraud. Gentlemen, it has come to my attention that there is a Chinese Dig. among us. Rest assured, he will be found. Security is launching a full-scale investigation into the genealogy records of every single one of our employees. This man will be found, and there will be dire consequences. Too bad about that Chinese guy, huh? We now return to Tom and Jerry, the final episode. So that's it? That's it? This is so much easier. I, I don't know why I didn't do this years ago. What do you want me to do with the body? Pff, I don't care. Throw it in the garbage. Do you want any of his oversized mallets? I will take a mallet. Right. Time to make all those popular kids pay for ignoring me. Oh. Peter, no, you're just a normal high school kid. Oh.
Hey, Lance, hey, it, it's off, it's off, it's off, it's off. <laughs> Throw this phone away, Lois. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Are you okay? No, I came in with my wife and now I can't find her. Oh, I'm sure she's here somewhere. Come on, I'll help you find her. Okay. Will Lois Griffin please come to the courtesy booth? We have a little gift for you. <laughs> little? I'm Lois. Oh, for God's sakes, Peter. Yay, Lois! What do you mean, I, I do have gift? references you can call. You know, I, I, I spent a month as Melanie Griffith's loose skin holder. Melanie! Melanie over, over here! You look beautiful! Can't hold on much longer! <gasps> <gasps> I should have stayed in bed. Oh. Look, I'm sorry. I'm exhausted, all right? I didn't get any sleep because Brian and the neighbor's dog kept me up all night. Hello? 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 Uh, are you a dog? Yes! I am also a dog. All right! Yeah! We're dogs! Yeah, we're dogs. We're dogs that live near each other. Hey, are you guys dogs? Yeah! We're totally dogs! Yeah, both of us. We now return to Ellen only talks when her guest is talking. So oh. you want to hear about my movie? Uh, I had a great, we spent great weekend three months this weekend. Shooting I, I danced all over and, you know, uh, my it's house. A thriller, I, I, I tried to really dance in every room at least once too. a week. I, I also listen to jazz while I vacuum, which is cool. Anyway, it comes out Friday, and I got to work with Juliana Margulies. I, I think there's like something in the nicer. air, like smog or pollen or po pollinated smog. Or are you just going to talk over everything? I love that talking I say? on TV. I'll do, I'll do anything to talk on TV. Huh? This is ridiculous. Evil Stewie could be anywhere. You know, this really is all your fault. If you hadn't told me I was going soft, I wouldn't have created Evil Stewie, he wouldn't have escaped, and we wouldn't be trying to track down a murderer. For all we know, he could be killing someone else right now. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh my god! Oh! That's fucked up. You gonna drink the glass? Number 3287. Come on, Peter, I'm here to take you home. I don't know, Brian. This is the only world I know anymore. Peter, you've been in there for 15 minutes. Oh. <laughs> Dad, where'd you get this car? I borrowed it from Quagmire. He's not home because he got abducted by aliens last night. So do you guys just not do the anal probe anymore? Is that... No, nah, that's more or less been retired. I see, I see. Do you, do you still have the thing? And besides, you know me. When I set my mind to something, I am not easily deterred. Like when I tried out to be an Olympic gymnast. Ah! You did it, Peter. Why'd you shoot me? Because I'm weird, creepy coach. Now let me give you inappropriate personal shower while I smoke and forbid you to see parent. This is... Somebody should look into this sport. Every time a man shows her the slightest glimmer of attention, she rushes into something serious and gets her heart broken like a teenage girl. Hey, Tyler, are you on your way to algebra? Yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> You're awful! Every time. The preceding joke was brought to you by men. Men, we don't know what we did. I know, and it's going to be so much fun going with you. Joe hates to fly because they always put him underneath with the dogs. Oh. Indonesia better be worth it. <gasps> Can this day get any more stressful? That's all. Huh. Never thought of it like that. Wait a minute, you're not serious. That's totally unethical. Yeah, Brian, no one cares what you think. Peter, you could make him your slave. Oh, man, he'd hate that even more than he hates sitcom two parties. Tootie, it's 829. Now either try that beer or dump it down the sink. Wait. Oh, now I have to wait a whole week to find out if she gave in to peer pressure at that drinking party. Well, what do you think of that, Lois? You still mad at me now? Peter, I feel great. I've never felt so in control. Oh, I know the feeling. It's how I feel when I burp really loud in an underground parking structure to assert my dominance. <laughs> Says the king. This can't be it. This can't be Santa's workshop. This looks like Bridgeport, Connecticut. Oh boy, get ready for the letters. Dear Family Guy bastards, oh. who the hell do you think you are? I'll have you know that Bridgeport is among the world leaders in abandoned buildings, shattered glass, boarded up windows, wild dogs, and gas stations without pumps. Just like leaving so Ohio. eat my 
Jill Riders. Yep, just like Cleveland, Ohio. But I can pay for it myself. I've been saving up from all my part-time jobs. Yeah, that's smart of you, Meg. You know, sometimes I do part-time jobs for extra cash. Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give oh. me money. <laughs> Wait, have, have the chef prepare a bucket of your finest caviar and then give it a helicopter tour of the city. Very good, sir. Very good indeed. I hope it enjoys it as much as that main lobster I ordered. And over there is the Rhode Island State House, the second largest self-supporting marble dome in yep. North America. There you go. Why the f am I doing this? I could have just said I did it. Um, hey, thanks for taking me out to dinner, Ryan, but... I gotta say, this food looks a little weird. Oh, Peter, Moroccan food is the jizz. I don't know. Looks like it might give me the kind of farts I get from eating Mexican food. Oh. Con cuidado! Es el stinko! What type of nasty shit? What type of nasty shit? Guys, we're under attack! By who? I don't know! The Mexicans! Oh, right. it's Cobra. Oh, of course. Look, they have the pictures of the snakes on their planes. Duke, what have I been saying for years? What makes a good terrorist organization? Brand recognition. Brand recognition. Look, sometimes in life, you gotta say what the hell and just go for it. I mean, that's how we won the Revolutionary War. Colonel, the British are too entrenched across the river. I've told the men we'll hold our position. Negative. Tell the men we're going across. But Colonel Goatbanger, we've... No, we need to do this cause for cause of for strategy. Well, Just remember not to go out into actual Florida. You don't want to meet those people. Hi, I just moved into the neighborhood and I'm required by law to inform you that I am a sex offender. Oh, don't worry about it. So am I. This whole block is S.O.'s. What? We use the abbreviation S.O.'s because it saves a lot of time over saying sex offender because that's all we talk about. Well, I'm also into football. Don't care. No time for FB. All about SO. Quagmire, let me in, you son of a bitch! I'm sorry I'm not home to receive you. The reason being that you have sufficiently scared me away from your wife or daughter. I plan to get help and use better judgment in the future. Wait a minute. So Quagmire just changed all of a sudden? Just like that? You want me to read this or not? No, Grandpa, I don't. No kid wants to be read anything anymore. Computers exist. It's just you won't leave. Okay, where were we? Quite my ah! front door. No! Uh, yeah, me neither. Dog ah! people can get pretty annoying. Ah! Wow, this is a nice apartment you have. Is this your dog? Yes. Isn't he the cutest little cutie wooty? Look how cute he is. Yes, he's very cute. Yes, he's cute. Yes, he's cute, 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 cute. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> okay. Look at it. Look at that face. Come on. Look at that face. You look at him. Look at that <laughs> face. <laughs> We now return to the post Roe vs. Wade Brady Bunch. Greg, Marsha, get down here. <laughs> oh, you two are such a handful. These are not covered in black guys this time. These are not bone and black people. Well, we're looking for this child using all the latest technology, including the newest, most advanced multimedia milk cartons. Help me, I'm missing! Help! Why are you still eating breakfast? I'm kidnapped! Why are you turning me the other way? I'm still here! Peter, are you actually reading that Christian science book? Yeah, you know, I figured I'd give it a shot. I mean, wouldn't it be cool if you could pray really hard for something and it actually happened? I am so happy for me. I deserve this. When do you think the Queen's gonna die? You don't deserve that. Hey, hold no. on now. You came out here to be my agent. Tom, relax. I can take care of your boat. You'd be surprised how much I can handle. Peter, I need you to drop Stewie off at daycare and then shred this big stack of old bank statements. You got it, Lois. Is he always this quiet? Mother... Yeah, you're right. Plus, the sooner we get him out of here, the sooner I can get back to my cocaine and dollhouses. Mother... What? No! At least let it be fentanyl. That stuff is way safer. Dinner is served. <laughs> Get out! Dear stuffed shirts at Ritz Crackers, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link, just as a box of crackers is only as appealing as its least intact sleeve. 
I am paying for fully formed crackers, not butter crumbles. I don't buy your product with broken quarters. Don't stick me with broken pieces of cracker, you miserable dicks. Regards, Mort Goldman again. Well, either way, we gotta get out of here. Otherwise, we're just sitting ducks. Hey, we all know this guy goes for the classy ladies. In fact, I once caught him trying to pick up a quack whore. <laughs> All right, calm down. We all make bad choices. You're lying to yourself, Brian. Like those girls who insist their best friends are attractive. Oh, Stewie, I can't wait for you to meet my best friend. She is so cute. Yeah, she sounds awesome. Oh, my God, yeah. People ask her if she's a model all the time. Here she comes. <laughs> okay, okay, that was an extreme example. But face it, ladies, your best friends are not hot. You don't understand, Brian. What am I supposed to do without Jolly Farm? I'll be like an Italian mom without bad kids. Hey, 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 what the hell is all the commotion in here? We're not doing anything. You getting fresh with me? I'm tired of bailing both of you out of prison. We're both in college, and we consistently make the dean's list. I'm telling your father. Good. <laughs> Where is this girl? Oh. Where is she? We keep girls upstairs. I hope you burn in hell, along with the guy who came up with stuffing a turkey. Hey, who wants to try some of my butthole bread? Oh, careful. Watch out there, Brian. Looks like the floor is wet. Excuse me, I'm kind of in a hurry. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, my God, are you okay? Uh, I'm sorry. I've been a little distracted lately. I think my wife has been crossing the street with another man. Oh. God, I hope Alan doesn't find out. Hey, forget that, klutz. I am going down to that rally tomorrow, and I am joining the tea party. Oh, wait, that's the same time as my men's knitting club. Although they have been really critical lately. You're still not knitting honestly, Peter. You're, you're knitting like you want us to like you. It's not coming from inside. It's very superficial. Thank you! So you made Ranger my decision easier! Up. Yes, that! Knit that! So blue Power Ranger sounding ass up. Man, I love street fairs. They got not rides, games, and ethnic food cooked Bitch. horribly by white Americans. Tacos! Hot tacos here! Oh, are those tacos? You better believe they're tacos! I love tacos, especially on a corn tortilla. Oh, I love tacos on a corn tortilla! Man, getting rid of the government has been the best thing to happen around here in a long time. That's right. Without government, I'm free to take a lot of mescaline and drive to Vegas! <laughs> oh. oh! Wait till you see Debbie Reynolds on stage. Yeah, and now my Spanish teacher and I can finally hold hands in the halls. Meg, donde esta la biblioteca? Because I'm gonna bang you in the biblioteca. No, no. Cut away, sir. Hey, is that good then? Friends, family, and characters random. To bring you joy and laughter in tandem. To divert and dazzle is our intention. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our invention. Filthy Lopez. Dirty Sanchez. Oh, I love summer. Rest of your bone. <laughs> Motherfucker, that's it? I ain't paying well, these for nothing. $28,000. For what? I've decided I want to open a sushi restaurant. What do you know about sushi? I don't care about the sushi. I just want to yell at customers when they walk in the door. Hiroshimase! Hajime Mashte! Here comes a black guy! Our relationship is just complicated, oh. that's all. No, Brenda, it's not complicated. Trying to get a straight answer out of a 23-year-old girl is complicated. Nigga! So do you want to go out sometime? Out like go out or hang out or just do something? Like a date. Like a date date or like a date? Both, I guess. Yeah, sure, maybe, I don't know. Yes, no. Here's the first three digits of my phone number. Email me. I faked my death and went AWOL. <gasps> I faked my own death once. <laughs> no dentist appointment for this guy. Dumbass. I know what you're saying, Peter. Bonnie's always making me do all these impossible household tasks. Joe, make sure you get all the tire tracks out of the carpet. That's why you gotta hit her. At this level of disrespect, you just have to hit her. In the face! Learn to live with it, Bonnie! There are tracks! People make tracks! Oh. We now return to the Super Friends Accountant.
Look, you guys are hemorrhaging money. This Hall of Justice is sitting on five acres of commercial real estate. How do you afford this? We're the super friends. Yeah, but you guys have no income. You owe $4 million in back property taxes. We fight evil wherever we find it. Well, that's not going to be enough. Look, you may need to reach out to some wealthy benefactors for financial backing. Do any of you know billionaire Bruce Wayne? No, none of us do. And he wouldn't want to lend us money anyway. I hear. We now return to grainy footage of a potential Bigfoot that will surely spark a lively debate in your household. No. Oh my God, that is real. No, total fake. That's oh, totally real. That 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 that's totally fake. This is the way it was. Why would totally totally somebody fake. make that up, Lois? What's in it for them? You know why. You know what? Hey, anything's possible, right? I mean, I once found the Bat Cave. Look, you can't expect to hire sixty workers to dig a cave under your house and then keep it a secret. I mean, those men live in this town. Yeah, but I told them it was part of a geological survey. Batman, Batman. They built a lazy Susan for your nuclear car. That's something they consider conversation worthy. She's kind of right, Brian. All you've got is a worn-out rope toy and that squirrel who comes by once a day to taunt you. Hey! Hey, get out of here! This is our yard! You don't belong there! Don't you touch anything! I told you all this yesterday! Oh... Thanks, Quagmire. I'll be honest, it was nice to be acknowledged by the chief for once. Usually he's just reminded me that whatever punk I'm roughing up ain't worth it. You son of a bitch! I ought to kill you right here! <coughs> hey! This punk's not worth it. You're right. You're not worth it. You sure it was such a good idea to cash that lottery check? It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah, right. yeah, my name. Woo we now return to Ethiopian hoarders. <laughs> I don't know how it got like this. <laughs> hey guys, uh, can I talk to you for a second? I did something terrible. Ah, oh, hey, we've all done terrible things. Attention, everyone! The plane is sinking, so I need you all to proceed onto the floating slide. Dear airplane people, I owe you one floating slide. And just so you know, the guy stewardess was angry gay, not happy gay. What does it say? Nothing. Just instructions and stuff. Oh, you should have been there, Lois. I told Angela what she could do with that job, just like I always fantasized. Angela, I just want to thank you for several extremely pleasurable years working for this corporation. Uh, certain unexpected developments have created a situation where I am no longer in need of employment. Uh, I would be remiss, however, if I did not extend my gratitude to you for your unwavering fairness and belief in me, and there is a giant poo on your desk. <laughs> yep. <gasps> Holy crap! Oh my god! He must have autoerotically asphyxiated himself! Yeah, while he was watching clown porn! Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, you make me so horny! Ah! Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, what the hell? Go shoot some animals. That sounds like fun. Hey, beat sitting at home watching Meg Papa zit. Oh no, that's. Is this the one? Oh my God, that's a huge one. That's scary. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh. Kevin, I want you to meet your little sister, ah. Susie. Wow. Hey, little sis. I guess we got some catching up to do, huh? Hope you don't get scared when I scream and have night terrors. It's quite all right. I've seen worse. A human centipede. How ghastly. Where are you boys going? We're going to New Orleans, the party capital of America. Home of the all-you-can-pee street. I'll tell you one thing. It's all about the beads down there. No. Oh. We all know what's going yeah. on here. It's just implied, but we all know what's going butt on stuff. in this We all know bowl. what's going on. The kids on. don't it's, know, it's but we stuff. do. It's always butt stuff. All right, guy. Stewie, you all set to spend the day with Grandma and Grandpa? Yeah, I hate being around old people. They've always got weird stuff in their refrigerator. <sighs> I'm hungry. What do we got? Let's see, eye drops, baking soda, and some film. Close the door! You're running up long-distance charges! <laughs> ah! You know why Lois always said she had problems with female co-workers? 
So Abby, Elaine, and Janet have their little lunch click, and of course, I'm not invited. Seems like you're doing everything, and they're doing nothing. Well, I don't know, but what I do know is that in the staff meeting, uh -huh. Christina said my uh -huh. inventory system wasn't feasible. She's obviously threatened by you. when the associate sales manager came back in it's the room, ridiculous, she told and I him the idea as if it was hers. You can't let and him get Teresa to you. And then Teresa acts like she's they're friends with me, but there's have. a coldness stand it's that I don't It's nothing to do trust. with you and everything and to do with them. And I have never seen her eat anything. Only you can prevent forest fires. Pretty much. Would you be interested in getting them together for a play date? Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Look at them. They're getting along like Billy Bob Thornton and his cat. Billy Bob? Leave me alone. I'm taking a bath. I'm doing it. Well, and I'll tell you who you should really be praying for. Out of work clowns. Is it more clown sex? Uh. Can it be more clown sex? Uh. I'm... I'm in, I'm, I'm kind of into 40. clowns. I'm on the fence about clown sex. You know, 40 of them. Ah, damn. Aw. You know what? But, uh, let's just turn ourselves in. I got a great lawyer, and he says worst case, 8 to 12 years. And when we get out, we'll still have the rest of our lives ahead of us. Goodbye, terrible women. <laughs> yeah, give them a chance, Joe. Like I did with scary teenagers. I used to be afraid of them until I realized they were just misunderstood. Hey, fat ass, give me your wallet. I could give you my wallet, but what I think you really want is love. It's true. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my I'm God. taking your shoes. Yeah, that's the least you can do. Get this must be how wallet. twins who were separated at birth feel when they first meet. Too. Trade house keys, bang each other's wives? Yep. No, I don't think I can take another semester at the school, Ruth. It's torture. It's worse than sitting next to a baby on an airplane. So what brings you to Kentucky? I'm visiting my family. Ah, family man. Me? Single and ready to mingle. Tom Brunel's the name. Insurance is the game. And right now, the game is very good to me. Yeah, those bastards have ruined everything. The same way the village people ruined any gathering of a cop, an Indian chief, and a construction oh. worker. Oh my god. Can we get a picture with you guys? We're not those guys. Yes, please leave us alone. We're very busy. Now, where were we? Oh yeah. We've got to solve that security problem for the Indian casino we're constructing. But Mr. Pewdersmith, you gotta do something. The potholes ain't getting fixed no more. The stoplights ain't working. Tampon commercials no longer use blue liquids in their demonstrations. Oh, oh right. Make it blue, that's always been the deal. You show whatever you want, but you make it blue. Yeah, you should go for it, Joe. Secrets are what keep a marriage fresh. I have a CB radio in the basement. I go down there a couple times a week, have CB sex. Lois has no idea. Break a break of one nine, watch your 20. Oh, it's so hot just knowing you're in a truck. Is it? Well, I hear you too. It's a lot of work just to keep my single guy fridge sufficiently depressing. Let's see. Ex-girlfriends yo play. Root beer from two Julys ago. Here we go. Expired milk. Oh, oh my God, Jenny. Look how young you look. Oh. Mayor West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. And how about you, every Persian guy in the world? White BMW! Pretty much. I just drove. Dude, that was amazing. I can drive. Now I can do a slow cruise past my ex-girlfriend's apartment. 11.45 and the lights are on. Doing it with the lights on now, whore. Don't mind looking at his body. I love you so much, though. All right, if that's what it takes to ride that ride, I am going on a diet. And I'm not stopping till I look as good as my great aunt, legs go all the way up, Griffin. Legs go all the way up. Hey, oh. baby, do those legs go all the way up? Why, yes, they do. Ah! Oh, my God, oh. you're a monster! Oh, God. Come Where's... back. My legs are shaved like a little girl. Where's the penis or vagina? Remember, I'm the guy who came up with the choreography to showgirls. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Elizabeth, darling, too much hands, not enough hips. Can I just show you? One, two, three, four, I'm dancing from my vagina. One, two, three, four, I'm grinding. 
I'm grinding. Orgasmize, orgasmize, and we're done. You do 20% that, and we got a movie. Really? My God, who I'm could be at the door at this vagina. hour? I don't know, but this late has got to be bad news. Everyone knows you always get bad news in the middle of the night. Wake up, wake up, wake up! Huh? What? You have cancer! What? Yeah, I thought you should know. Okay, go back to sleep. Wait, I have questions. <sighs> it's very late. Jeez, Joe, let it go. Yeah, Joe, even Robocop took a day off once in a while. Nope. I can't sleep like this, Lois. I need someone to cuddle with. Believe it or not, men like to cuddle. Even cold, unfeeling men like Charles Bronson. Hey, Charles Bronson's wife. Scooch over. I want to cuddle. Mmm, that's nice. I don't believe this, Joe. This is like living in Russia. I might as well just move there. You don't want to do that. It's dark, it's cold, and hooking up is just a crapshoot because of all the big coats. All right, drop the coats on three. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, hello, Seamus. Right fine performance at the cricket match today. Aye, I was spirited to have you down there watching me. Well, it's a what brilliant day for a long cricket? and confusing game of cricket. The field is teeming with men in helmets who don't seem like they need helmets and men not in helmets who seem like they probably should be wearing helmets. Oh, he's badly to clear out of the stadium. Is that good? We don't know, but it's what we do. Y yay! Yay! Oh. And now, Quahog Channel 5 presents Movie and a Bath with a guy named Lou. Hey, it's Saturday night, and you know what that means. We're going to take a bath and watch the 1984 interesting movie Gremlins. Gremlins. Now, the Gremlins are funny. I don't know if those things are puppets or they put costumes on dogs or something, but let's press play and find out, huh? Uh, you can't get them things wet, by the way, but don't worry. This don't affect that. I'm not about to watch no dude in a tub, man. Hey, you can't park here! Excuse me? Having been officially challenged by her natural enemy, yep. the black female prepares for combat by taking off her many it's rings. Really like that. Meanwhile, the Italian male looks around to yep. make sure the other Italian males are indeed seeing what he is seeing. That's real. Sensing the impending battle, a flock of Jews flies quickly away, as avoiding confrontation is their best chance for survival. Oh, look at that smile, Lois. Reminds me of that guy who was way too happy he didn't get killed on 9-11. I'm ten minutes late for work! Look at that! I stayed up late watching Monday Night Football and that saved my life, huh? Isn't that awesome? Oh, but, oh... <laughs> Peter, trust me. I know what's going on in the head. It's just a game. I used to do the same thing to my parents. The problem is they pushed back and the results were not good. Mr. Peter Schmidt, we pumped your daughter's stomach and we found vodka, brohypnol, a fair amount of DNA that is not her own, and a class ring. Harvard? I think it was SUNY something? Oh, I don't want to hear anymore! And it's not a bad idea. It's like we're doing a public service. Like those idiots who get together to paint a school. This underachieving, crime-ridden school is now fawn beige, thanks to guilty white people with no weekend plans. Yay! Hey, look, why don't you go bother Joe, huh? I can't. He's in Vegas for the weekend, seeing that handicapped share impersonator. If I could turn back time Time! This is the biggest city innovation I've ever seen! Need to move? No problem. Take it yourself with U-Haul. But I've never driven a truck before. No problem. U-Haul lets anyone drive a giant truck, even though it's dangerous, because, hey, you're moving. Sorry, I'm making a go of it in a new city. Beer! He's still alive. We gotta get him to a hospital. All right, but let's just watch the end of this clown porn first. No! No! Oh. Well, you gotta hand it to him. He had a dream and he made it happen. That's what the Wright brothers did. So, how's your boyfriend Orville doing? Ex-boyfriend, if you don't mind. And who cares? He's probably off in a barn somewhere working on a contraption with that weird brother of his. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Ha-ha, bitch! Ah! You're so pretty, I miss you! I don't know about that last one. Well, I guess we ought to call it a night. Come on, Stewie. Up to bed.
No party? Oh, come on. I was going to show a slideshow of all those silly photos I took of Meg. Wolf! Wolf! Did you hear that? Somebody needs help! Let's go! Oh! Oh, oh my God! Charles! Oh my God! I'll run and get help! No! No! We've got to carry him! We can't leave him here! There's a wolf! Um, there's not really a wolf. What? Oh, my kids. I love them. Charlie! Charlie! <laughs> this was so funny in my head when I planned it. Kill him. Kill him. Well, now that I've wrapped things up with you guys, I better wrap things up with my basement family. Well, did you guys learn your lesson about eating uncooked antelope? This niggas is assy. Really assy. And if he's not smothering me, he's keeping me up all night writing with that giant plume of his. Dearest Augustine, I do hope this latest damp has not aggravated your gray lung. Dip, 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 dip. Matters stateside have taken a tragic turn as this year's gourd crop has fallen prey to a rather unexpected infestation of salt marsh cutworms. Dip, 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 dip. Peter, it's four in the morning. Come to bed. Marital concerns continue to bedevil me. Bedevil you me. Join the tea party? That's right, Brian. I finally got something better to do with my Saturdays than sit at the mall and watch Japanese girls laugh at normal conversation. So I drove to work this morning? <laughs> People are a circus. Peter, you blew up their marriage. This was a huge mistake. Well, we've all made mistakes. Eh. Ah, ah, oh. ah. Why did the sign oh, say not shit. an exit? It should have just said Gorilla Door. Ah. Ah. Damn. All right, movie night. I am so psyched for Reindeer Games. What? I thought we were watching La Vie en Rose. Yeah, what do you mean? Reindeer Games is great. Everything goes wrong on the one day it has to go right. But La Vie en Rose is a beautiful movie about the real-life tragedy of Edith Piaf. Usually Peter would break the tie. Well, Peter isn't here, is he? Because you were supposed to be watching him, but you were smoking marijuana and he drowned! What? No, he's in a PTA meeting. Where the hell did you get that story? I don't know. I just can't stand it when he's not here. Whoa, whoa, Quagmire. You know I could arrest you just for saying that. You know what else you can get arrested for? Soliciting a rooster. What? I don't know what this cock-a-doodle-doo thing is, but it sounds gay and it sounds scatological. I'm in. You gonna... You're about to have a neat day. You know how the Asians look 30 until they're 60? This is why. Of course, then they suddenly look 100, but cross that bridge, you know. Is this a Japanese thing? No, Chinese. The Japanese have a whole other thing going on. Hey, you want to see a movie? No, nah, we're Japanese. Let's go watch a schoolgirl bang an octopus. Yeah! Sounds Oi, good me. to me. What? <laughs> Never mind, that's too young of a schoolgirl. I, I, I don't understand it. I thought you were dead. Well, <laughs> I'm not. I don't believe you. God, is that true? Don't ask God. God. Word? God, you did? Just ask God, huh? Yep, just gonna ask God. Okay. That makes sense. Come on, don't touch yourself. You're God. Oh, please, Brian. You're just two people who live in the same house. If you didn't, you'd never hang out with each other in a million years. He owns you. You're his property. He used to hang you in the garage so his fender wouldn't hit the wall. You're there. You're there! I couldn't hear you. The radio was too loud. Oh. We're here live in our studio where a checkout girl in a cheap dress who wants to be a model is ready to draw the winning numbers. E! That's a three, honey. Turn it around. This! 31. Spooky ghost mouth! That's a zero. Snowman! Eight. Two sailboats! 44. 17! No, that's... Oh, yes, that is 17. She's good at 17. At least All right, say let's do it. Tomorrow night! Good. I'm just going to have to reschedule my weekly re-circumcision. So what are we doing today? A little off the top? Yeah, but leave a little up front so I have something to play with. Sounds good. And take a look at the back. You see that there? Yeah. Yeah, let's trim that. I don't know when that started, but let's get rid of that. We got to protect bald eagles? Bald eagles should be allowed to make their own decisions. Honey, I don't care that you're bald. I find you just as attractive. It's not about you. It's about my confidence as an eagle architect. 
Just for Eagles will give you thicker, fuller, more natural hair, so you can just focus on Eagle stuff. You're an excellent architect. Ah, they're fine. In fact, I see Stewie reading a book. Scratch and sniff. Lindsay Lohan goes jogging. Why would you sniff oh, that? Oh, God, that's terrible. Why would you sniff that? Oh, here's that? a pop-up book. Tommy Lee goes boating. Jeez, are we really living that close to the edge? You know we are, Brian. Why do you think we waited so long to take you to the groomers last month? Hey, isn't it time for me to get a haircut? Oh, no. I think you just got one. Are you sure? Because I feel like my nails are really long. Yeah, yeah, I'll check, but I'm pretty sure it's not for another couple of weeks. <clears throat> what day is this? Uh, Peter. Peter Griffin. And I'm Lowe. Catch you later, Peter. Oh, he was really nice. Not like when I met that bitch, Shelly Duvall. Hi, I'm Shelly Duvall. Very nice to meet you. Big deal. Came Whoa. right up to me like I was just dying to meet it. Peter, you're gonna have to let that one go. Well, it sounds to me like you're a regular Benedict Arnold Drummond. What, what's he expecting us to cut to? Uh, I think he wants maybe, I don't know, Gary Coleman in a Napoleon hat? Well, we don't have that. We, we gotta come up with something. Uh, well, we got, uh, we got the cowardly lion is Lindsay Lohan's gynecologist. Play it, play it. But he didn't set it up. Play it! All right, I'm gonna check her for diseases. There's just one thing I want you to do. What's, what's that? that? Talk me out of it. No, 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 no. What the hell is going on up there? It just seems to me that perhaps it's time to think about retirement. Never! Retirement's for old people. I can work till I die. Maybe even after that. Mr. Pewterschmidt, the gentlemen from Zurich are here for your 10 o'clock. Working till you Will die you need is always anything better. Else? Mr. Pewterschmidt. Yep, there it is. Okay, that was weird. That was weird. Right? Oh my God, so weird. I tell you something, if he touches my daughter, I'm gonna be kicking butts and taking names. And then giving those names to other people whose butts I kick. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, Derek. shit. What's your name? Michael. You're Derek now. I, I just, you know, sometimes taking things slower is better. No. Just ask any sloth. Hey, is sometimes taking things slower better? Yeah. You betcha. But I have to say, I thought you'd drive a fancier car. What? Why? Well, aren't you the Peter Griffin of Peter Griffin Cadillac? No, that's another guy. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin, and at Peter Griffin Cadillac, we believe in three things. Fair dealing, family, and friendship. I've lived in Quahog my whole life. I love it here. And you're gonna love a Peter Griffin Cadillac. Scumbag. Oh. Come on, Stewie, hurry up. I want to get good seats. Ugh, I hate going to hear authors read from their work. That Dr. Seuss reading was dreadful. And when the drugs stopped numbing the pain, the sex became even more violent. Oh, oh. Doesn't rhyme. The new oh, stuff doesn't rhyme. Oh, oh, oh. Hey Come on, it's good oh, to have some alone time. Oh, you know, I spent a year alone on a desert island with nothing but a monkey to keep me company. You're saved, sir. We're gonna get you back to civilization. And how about we bring along your monkey pal? Okay. Yeah, we can teach him sign language, and he can tell us stories about what you two did on the island together. No, 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 no. Let's let's not let's not bring the monkey. What are you talking about? This money is our ticket to the good life. Starting now. I just bought a giant room full of gold coins, and I'm gonna dive into it like Scrooge McDuck. Ah! Oh! It's not a liquid! It's a great many pieces of solid matter that form a hard floor-like surface! Ah! That looks so painful. Yeah, I can't wait to fire all them city employees, starting with that half-asleep construction worker. Bro, there's like 1,700 the of those guys. Which one is it? Stop or go forward? In Las this Vegas. This is a big deal. They're not at all similar. Yeah, no, 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 no. You, sir, have lost my business. Oh. Oh, God, it's um, a black person. Excuse me. Excuse me? Boy, I wonder where the shampoos are around here. I said, I wonder where the shampoos are around here. Oh, for God's sake, I almost thought you were a regular person. Where's the shampoo? Chris has also been developing some very expensive tastes. 
Model glue, sir. Well, what do we have today? Today, we have a recent vintage procured just this morning from Michael's Hobby Shop. Yes, that's very nice. Bring me my finest rag. Your fancy rag, sir. You are relieved for the evening. <laughs> you don't see poor people doing this! But don't expect any miracles. I'm not good with confrontation. Like when I got stuck behind that giraffe at the ball game. Yeah! Nice hit! Frozen rope! Awesome! What just happened? Crown rule double! Woo! I couldn't even see it. Yeah, it was something. Ducks on a pond! Let's bring them in! Could you please sit down? I am sitting down. You sit up! I am sitting up, but I still can't see a thing. Yeah, sounds like a you problem. Let's go, socks! Oh. We now return to One Hour Crime Show, where the murderer is the most famous person in the credits. I think you're going to want to take a look at this. What do we got? Looks like somebody had a rough night out. Boy, you can say that again. Better get the coroner down here. He's still got his watch and his wallet. Guess that rules out robbery. Stabbed 17 times in the chest? I'd say the murderer knew the victim intimately. Oh, I thought Paris would be a bit more picturesque. Instead, it's just traffic and some big guy using a jackhammer. But, monsieur, this is not a jackhammer. It is a Jacques hammer. Oh. <laughs> Terrible joke. Wow, 20 bucks just to drive you across town? Maybe I should be an Uber driver. I mean, I could use the extra money, and it's got to be easier than when I was delivering pizzas. All right, push. Push. Come on. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Just one more push. Here it is. Wow. Half Hawaiian. I believe that's ours. You poor fool. <laughs> <laughs> wow, already? How'd you book a gig so fast? Easy! I figured out the perfect way to get the word out to middle-aged moms. Musical entertainment available for parties. Musical entertainment available for parties. Hey, where are you drinking that Chardonnay? <laughs> Damn it, we lost! I guess the castle was a crazy idea anyway. I should probably just invest this money in a 401k. Oh, hell no. What are you... And Come how on, long bro. before I can take this out? No, 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 no. You should really watch your back. No. Oh, it's hard to believe Brian would betray me. I mean, he was there for me when I hit rock bottom. <laughs> See, Brian? That's a rock bottom. Thanks for being here for that. Now get out of here. We're about to drink some Chardonnay. I hate Stewie. I'm so... I'm, Lois, I hate what's him. what's wrong? I can't find Stewie. He must have gotten out of the house. God knows how far he's gone. Well, look. There's a family circus dotted path. It'll lead yep. us right to him. Definitely family circus it. Yeah, it is very dotted. Very dotted for a path. Ah, it's just Billy. He died of measles. And here comes Marmaduke to lick up the vomit. Mm, mm, Lucky. Mm. Owning a drone is gonna be a blast. Even more fun than when I had breakfast and bread. What type of shit? Hi, Lois. It's a great morning, no matter how you slice it. Yeah, I don't know what this is, Peter, but we're four months behind on our mortgage. Well, that's odd. It's not like we're short on dough. I'm taking the kids, and I'm staying at my parents' for a while. That's the yeast of my concern. Wow. Wow, he seemed pretty angry. Yeah, I haven't seen him this upset since he got caught using that fake ID. Can I see your ID, please? Mm. Give me one second. Uh, sir? That lady who came in and ate all the pies is back. Yeah, and the best part is, I don't even have to get on a plane. I always have trouble at the airport. Sir, you're not allowed to be on the carousel. Well, and maybe you shouldn't have named it such a fun word. Oh, excuse me, excuse me, I'm not yours. He's stealing me! I'm being stolen! Excuse me? I think you've got mine. Oh, that's a good idea. What are you gonna do? Just leave the babies with Consuela? I wish I could, but she works seven days a week between housekeeping and no, never being babysit. the new CEO of Yahoo. Never babysit, no. Maybe we should improve our business model. No, no. Oh. Improve our original content? No, no. So we have no corporate identity? We secondary email. People used to sign up for porn sites. <laughs> Dad refuses to interact with any actors on set. He'll only rehearse with helium balloons with crudely drawn faces on them. I'm sorry, Meg, but you're grounded. But, Dad, the prom is tonight. Over. You hide your father, Meg. Over. Peter, you ready to hit the drunken clam? Over. It's difficult having to give up my chair for the balloon, but that's the business we call show. Excuse me, Joe. 
You bet I am. I'm in the best shape of my life. I've been working my Dave Matthews punching bag. Thank you very much for using me today. This isn't annoying enough. I need my David Lee Roth That's bag. so annoying. Way more annoying. Way more annoying. Sure, oh, God. All right, let's give it a try. Can't be any worse than when I was on the night's watch. Hey, guys, you all want to say the oath again? <laughs> oh. For the watch. Oh. For the watch. Oh. For the watch. Oh. Hi, Brian. Oh. I'm the boring storyline of the fat guy that's watching that girl. And I'm ballers. Ow! <laughs> I totally get it. You're right to do this. Wow, did you see how Chris took care of those kids? Up till now, the only thing he could take care of was my traffic tickets. Name? Uh, Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin's here to surrender for his vehicular manslaughter. Oh! No, I'm a good boy! He is a good boy. No. This is a mess. It's working about as well as that animal sobriety checkpoint. Excuse me, sir. Is that a baggie of catnip on your seat? I have a card for that. What else you got in here? Open container of cat food? Feather on the string? Is that a dead mouse? <laughs> Get him off yep, me! There it is. Yep, Somebody get, get him off me! There it is. Yep, steal. Hurt him. Get, oh my god. Oh, oh, I didn't see all that. Oh, shit. Hey, man, I ain't had nothing to do with this. Oh. Damn. Think catnip's a joke? Think again. Vote yes on increased animal sobriety checkpoints. Paid for by dogs. Oh. Look. Oh, hell no. No, don't you do this. Don't you do this. I can't help it. My body's rejecting it. <laughs> Name? Quinoa. Uh -huh. Sorry, sir, we're full. Come on in, gummy bears. <laughs> ah. You are looking fine tonight. Mm. You really like that, too. Celery? Mm. I don't know about that. No, oh, come on in, Hot Cheetos. Yeah, come on in. Yep, covered in hot sauce, too. Come on in. Tom Tucker just ruined everything. It sucks even worse than when I stub my toe. Oh, ah! ooh. Why does everything bad always happen to me? Does Answer it? me, guy in box and guy on cross. Oh, ungrateful. Oh, it's a song for babies. Yeah, but, but that's the thing. Baby songs never tackle real baby issues. You know, like, like loud noises or teething or when dad uses me as a lumbar pillow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Do Ow. people really do that with Ow. their children? Ow. <laughs> This people thing really, works better in the car. People really use lumbar children as lumbar pillows. Hey, any mail for me? Yes, your death threats to Grimace have all been returned. Mm. Well, has the Shamrock Shake period been extended? I believe that's still seasonal. But while I have you, your bill remains unpaid, and we saw you selling our robes on eBay. I'm afraid we're evicting <laughs> you from What's your home address? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Now, do you want to leave the regular way, or do you want our Uncle Phil to throw you out? I think you know what I want. Ah! <laughs> We've got to get to the hospital and get Stewie vaccinated. Yeah, it might be a little too late for that. I kind of destroyed all the vaccines in town. Bro, I love this movie, man. This is the best Batman movie ever, bro. So good. Still don't know how Harvey Dent couldn't tell that Bat, like uh, Joker was Joker with the oh shit. with the COVID mask. All right, on. what else did I have to do today? Ah, yes, overdose in my apartment. I better get home. Now, Chris, you're getting older, so it's time for you to learn the classic pool party game. Talk to somebody's wife in a bikini until they cover up uncomfortably. So, Bonnie, how are things going? Oh, things are fine. Been kind of busy lately. What with Susie starting to... Okay, bye. Man, that's like two seconds. Hey, Peter. Hey, what have you been watching on TV lately? Oh, you know, this and that. There's this show called Shipping Wars. It's actually kind of... Okay, bye. I can't live like this. I know. That guy's more annoying than going to an Italian restaurant with someone who's been to Italy. I call this a trattoria. More like a restaurante to me. Look at that fresco. Supposed to be the hills of Elba. Not once you've seen them. Are you ready to order? See. Si. Let me handle this, Peter. Two spaghettis and a chicken fingers. 
so I don't have to make small talk with you or spend any money? Of course not. Here, wipe yourself off with this West Elm catalog. My God, this app is amazing! Thank you, cell phone Jesus! Huh? Oh, yeah, fine. Well, that's it. From now on, we're eating healthy around here. We're gonna feel better and we're gonna look better. Well, looking better doesn't always solve your problems, Lois. Sure didn't work for Droopy Dog when he got that facelift. Contrary to my appearance, I'm still not happy. Please study my brain so that others don't suffer as I have. Oh, shit! Peter's brain. Yeah, uh, this is the muscle department. What the hell is he doing? Uh, apparently he's trying to sprint. Sprint? He got winded walking to the plate. And he's been out in the blazing sun for two days. Has he had any water? No, he told his wife there's juices in the hot dogs. Well, I'm sorry. I got no choice but to call for a complete muscle failure. But he said there's juices in the hot dogs. I mean, we don't keep secrets in this house. We didn't even keep the pop secret secret. <laughs> hey, did you hear? Hear what? <laughs> Orville Redenbacher is gay. But he has a son. He's in the commercial. His son's gay, too. They're both gay. They have sex parties in the Hollywood Hills. The P. Diddy? It sounds like you're just making up stories about your competitors. You're gay, too. What? <laughs> Bitch. Yeah, you're a psycho. Dad, you're never going to believe what... Chris, meet Orville Redenbacher and his son. Watch. <laughs> ah! And that's where we get the expression, gay as a bag of popcorn. Man, I ain't even expressing where I'm from. I considered this, but the clock is ticking on Stewie's cuteness. Huh. Is it? I guess you're right. The clock is ticking. I wouldn't be ticking. surprised if he ends up looking like an exact mashup of Lois and Peter. That'd be terrible uh, if he looked like uh, Lois and Peter. Groceries. That's terrifying. You want to talk about the show? I'll talk about the show. The show sucks. The only reason I stay here is to maintain my profile for my Does startup show business, suck? DiscreetCrepe.com. No, man. Hi, are you a straight adult male who likes to eat crepes without people making unwanted assumptions about your private I'm life? I'm straight and adult, but I don't eat no crepe, bro. Place your order, and within 30 minutes... The fuck is a crepe? <laughs> Very masculine pizza delivery for Stewie Griffin. The fuck oh, is a crepe? thank you. What's mm, a crepe? Strawberry banana Nutella with raspberry drizzle. No, I just need a guy's butt to eat this off of, and I got myself a knife. That's a fight. Ah, fight him. Don't worry, Lois. I'll get rid of it. It'll be a piece of cake, just like my penis enhancement. He's having an abortion? I want it to hang down to my knees. They moved up my knees. We now return to How David Lynch Stole Christmas. Hello. I got you a present. It's a thumb. <laughs> Don't look away. Let the fear wash over you. Oh, my God. I don't understand. That's the whole point. Now, did you leave a plate of black coffee out for me? No. In the future, please leave a plate of black coffee out for me. Also in the past. Well, now I'm excited about this, Brian. I feel like an eighth grader who just had sex. So, you go all the way? Oh, yeah. I'm going to need some proof. Hmm. How can I prove it? Maybe with Father O'Leary's briefs. No! The king! Oh, God! He said he loved me. Oh. <laughs> Never tell him you love him. I don't need you. I can get a hundred dogs to pick that stupid blue shirt. You're a monster. Like Frankenstein when he became a loan officer. <laughs> so, I'm looking for money to open a small business. We plan to sell antique lamps. Mm. Handmade blankets. Mm. Mm. And pitchforks. Oh, oh, oh. Pitchforks. <gasps> oh my god, we can go today. My schedule is wide ass open. Ooh, so no, it's not. Up there. Why not? We've done no, crazier things. Never before. wide ass Remember open. When we sent that tweet? No. Nope. Alright, you ready? I don't even know. Broad City is just okay. Three. Oh my god! You're the internet police. You I'm so sorry. I I didn't know I was still that scared of the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they cartoons. That shit still scared the shit out of me. <laughs> guys are going away for a long time. Hey, what are you in for? I said Caitlyn Jenner wasn't brave and beautiful. Oh, I have missed some bad people in here. <laughs> Trust me, you're perfect. All right, sounds good. 
Let's do this. Okay, but hold on. I got four quarters on golden tea. <sighs> How am I doing? Good job, Joe. Hole in one. You just keep switching clubs. <laughs> Damn it! I think it's broken! Oh! Griffin, what are you, an idiot? Yeah, an idiot who's gonna show up on Sports Center tonight. Coming up after the break, we'll have highlights of the playoff game between the Freaking unrelated Motherfucker! It feels good doing something nice for others. Like when I was a mentor for Kid Rock. Okay, I took a leak into this can of bush light without spilling. You're ready. No. You don't need me anymore. Good. Will I see Lord. you again, Peter? Wherever a father weighs less than his daughter. I'll be there. Oh! Wherever someone has a banner for a football team as a curtain, I'll be there. Oh! Wherever there's a fight in a Waffle House, I'll be there. <laughs> now go. People need a concert to go to after the water park. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Yep, do that. Do that. We now return to the extended director's cut of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Word? No. 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 Charlie. No. Don't forget what happened to the boy who got everything he ever wanted. What? He lived happily ever after. But he did have to earn it. Hint, hint. No! Do it, Charlie! I'm no! Back to that four-person bed! Hell, I'll do it if you want! No! no! It has to be a child! No, it has to be a child! Yeah, I gotta be honest, I'm having a blast. You know, now that I'm not tied down by the show, it's given me more time to pursue my true passion. Weaving sexually explicit tapestries featuring the minions. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> Did you have any questions about the artist? Are those penises? Peter, another way to impress your Asian tiger mom Nigga. is to put on this old-fashioned baseball hat and assist Indiana Jones on his next adventure. You got it, Mama Trisha. Okay, nice and slow, no, Dr. Bro. Jones. Okay, that... alcohol and pot. Yeah, let's get you out of the tub first, Dr. Jones. I want to fly an old plane. I'm not sure that's a great idea. Not a new safe one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got that. Ah! There's a skeleton in my bedroom! That's your wife, Dr. Jones. Now, maybe today we don't do the earring? No! Earring every day! <laughs> oh my god, you guys did it! We're saved! Yep, we wrapped this up quicker than the treaty signing at Appomattox. So if I sign this, the war is over, we surrender, and we still get to be dicks forever? <laughs> okay, you win. All right, we gotta just throw that phone away and end this once and for all. Yeah, no kidding. Quagmire's in bad shape. He looks worse than I did after that day at the beach. Oh, what happened to him? I spanked somebody else's kid. Who hit someone else's child? No we now return to Sesame Street, now on HBO. <laughs> I expect this kind of thing from the fat man, but not Lewis. Although she did act like a nutcase that time Cookies. she went shopping right before Thanksgiving. Cookies. Ready for turkey day? <laughs> Clever. <laughs> Don't eat too much turkey tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I won't. Now, if only the meal would cook itself, huh? <laughs> <laughs> And what? now, the History Channel presents American Inventor, the true story of Henry Ford. This is my Jew flattening machine. Oh. It'll flatten any Jew. Simply climb behind the wheel, drive it towards a Jew, and flatten him. Could you also use it just to drive from place to place and stuff? It, it's a Jew flattening machine. It, it's not what it's designed for. But you could use it that way. Yeah, yeah, you could, yeah, yeah, you could, you could also use the Mona Lisa as a placemat. God. Well, I say, that was a pleasant surprise. You know, like when a woman in a Porsche Cayenne isn't a complete bitch. Oh. Huh. Well, I did not expect that. I wasn't telling you to go. I was trying to smell my own fart. Damn. Is that real? I don't think so. I am hurt pretty bad. Like that time I was running with scissors. <laughs> You'll run like a girl. Ah! Motherfucker, what? Run like a man, you get a suit. I don't know. He sounded weird. Like when he was an NFL announcer and had to pretend he cared about the shows after the game. Patriots calling their third and final timeout. Hey, after the game, keep it here for an all-new Madam Secretary. Tonight, Madam Secretary faces an international crisis in Pakistan while her teenage daughter faces her own crisis finding a date for the prom. Madam Secretary, tonight on CBS. Hopefully you've got them. the longest timeout of all time? That'd be kind of nice, actually.
Hey, maybe you could drive me around and help me out, and I could even pay a little something for your time. He sure, pimping. that sounds great. And you know what? It'll be nice having a little extra cash to bet on college football. Yeah, I'd like to bet a hundred bucks. You want to pick a team? No, just take it. Oh, you just giving it away? I'll take yeah, it. I mean, that was worse than an Italian guy describing someone's sexuality. Anyway, my brother Louis, he's uh, he's a little off to the side, you know, uh, foofy, uh, up to the knuckle. He's a uh, he's a backwards mechanic. He likes to play in the dirt. You mean gay? No, oh, mama. What on, Peter? Mama, Louis's not gay. He's he's creative. <laughs> my gun and get out of here. I could get fired for this. And I can't go back to my job as a magician's assistant. And now, to pull the two sides apart. <gasps> and wiggle your toes. I said, wiggle your toes. Yeah, that's, uh, that's why I wanted to talk to you before the show. Wow, you must be excited, Peter. Yep, guess I can cross this one off my bucket list. All that's left now is living the Pueblo lifestyle. Peter, what the hell did you do to the house? I know, it seems pretty lame until you realize I'm 58. What now, if you'll excuse fuck? me, I have to go lick the foot of a fleshy, pale woman for no. real sex 34. Never do that. That's not real sex. And Quagmire owes me a favor <laughs> anyway, remember? Last Never time he went out that. of town, I sat on his eggs for him. That nigga has Peter, eggs? Peter, it's time for lunch. Sorry, Lois, can't leave the eggs till Quagmire gets back. We're having sloppy joes. Well, I guess I haven't seen that mongoose in a while. We're having sloppy joes. Yeah, I heard. Please say you got the onion bun. We're having sloppy joes. <gasps> mongoose! <gasps> Mongeese! Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. It just seems like it always ends badly for you two. And it can be tricky working with an ex. Look at Kermit and Miss Piggy. How are you feeling, Miss Piggy? I heard you called in sick yesterday. Yeah, I had a frog in my throat. <laughs> right, Kermit? <laughs> right? Please stop drinking. I guess it's worth a shot. Of course it is. If she says yes, you'll surprise everyone, just like you did on New Year's Eve. Three, two, one. Some animals give me boners. Motherfucker, what? You dirty, dirty motherfucker. You a nasty. I swear, Mama son. Trisha, I'm gonna make you the proudest tiger mom of all. Not like tiger how mom. Jesus feels about his kid. Man, that bitch is Dad, a human. Dad, I got bullied at school. They flipped up my lunch tray. Oh, that sucks. I wonder if that's the worst thing that ever happened to a guy. Whoa. Whoa. Billy, this guy in this book here, he's really getting the business. Yikes. Okay, I'm sorry. What happened at school today? You're kind of a dick, Dad. Huh. I wonder if there's anyone in here whose dad was a bigger dick. Wow, crazy! I told you I'm done with you. And besides, I'm off to the spa down at the club. How's the temp? Good and hot? Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Hey, did you also not wash your ass before getting in? Yeah. <laughs> that sign. Ha, ha, ha! It's the first thing I'm really good at. Plus, I love making other women bleed. You know, in ways besides the way, you know, they normally bleed. Your mother... What? Periods. Yeah, I got it, Stewie. But I'm telling you, Meg, something bad is going to happen. Like when you give a young athlete too much money. I... I gotta murder somebody. Oh. Peter, what exactly are you doing down at that school? I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm doing a great job. Like when I was a pro football kicker. Now I can fist bump with black guys. Nailed it, Peter. There you go. Yeah, we going to the club tonight? Not you. Okay. He's working for Quagmire now. He's washing sex toys for Quagmire? Not just that. He also takes pictures of Quagmire's genitals to track sore growth. So brace yourself when you open iPhoto. It's on the Griffin family account. Peter, oh, my, my parents God. parents have access to that. What's wrong with this worm? Yeah, I'm with you. Just as soon as I finish getting the word out about the one thing more important. The brothers who made the Matrix are ladies now. They're ladies. <laughs> Just one of them? That's the thing. It's both of them. What are the chances? What are the chances? The brothers who made the Matrix are ladies They're ladies now. now. They're ladies. I'll tell you who should be saying his prayers. Santa. He messes with me, I mess with him. Yep. That's why mess I replaced with one of his flying reindeer with an ordinary non-magical one. Yep, there we go. That's how you do them. Yeah. Non-magical one, off, bitch. Cut it off. That's how we do. Uh, 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 oh. Uh, 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 uh.
Oh, shit. You know, I think this year is gonna be the best. Oh. Yay, free horse. Mm. I'm sorry, Rupert, but the situation here has become unbearable. Like talking to someone with adult braces. So yeah, last weekend, Sheila and I took the kids up to the lake. It was great. We had great weather, fired up the barbecue. Sheila's parents came up towards the end of the when week. When are you gonna get those off? Sorry about my family. Don't apologize. They seem nice. Well, you wouldn't say that if you ever saw us at the movies. Jack Reacher. All right, we got our popcorn from home, our soda from home, our snacks from home, and Braveheart. Wow, a paying grown-up job. I haven't been this excited about anything since the night Wicked premiered in Quahog. All right, Brian, let's rob these gay guys. What if they're home? They're not going to be home. Look, I even brought Tom Sizemore's Game of Life. Sell rights to saving Private Ryan residuals to buy a case of Coors Light. Steal your son's wallet while he's in the shower. Oh. <clears throat> Miss Audition. Scoop someone's urine from Starbucks toilet to pass drug test. Feels like we should be moving these pieces backwards. Hmm? Hey guys, how about a little TV? We can watch a baby thing together. Baby Einstein, Muppet Babies. Uh, what's CSI Babies? What's this? They can't solve this crime. They're just frightened babies. They don't even know it's a crime. They just know their parents aren't there. They're scared. Now I'm scared. Turn this off. Oh. Ah, this is not what I want. Ah, I'm going to go hide in my couch fault. Is CSI Babies over yet? No. Brian, this does not seem appropriate to watch in front of the baby. Not appropriate? You took me to see Magic Mike XXL. Yep, this one's wet. Uh, this one, too. Also wet. Huh, this one's dry, but the back of the seat in front of it is wet. You know, many viewers think our cutaways are just wet together, but they actually go through a rigorous testing process before filming. This is the planet Jupiter, and he could say, next year is my star mitzvah. Ha <laughs> ha! They love it. Tell the director. Where is he? No. It says don't take it with alcohol, but you should take it with alcohol. Yeah, duh. I also need a couple for the girl I'm babysitting. Oh! Yeah, because we don't want to make a big mistake. Like when I peed next to the chatty guy. Hey, man, we should get out of here. The building's on fire. Hey, pal, not now. I'm busy. Anyway, I'll tell you what's on fire. My urethra. That's the last time I go to a water park. I'll tell you that much. Well, that's not completely true, because I have a group on, and I'd hate to waste it. Plus, the truth is, the kid... Oh, my God. I was the chatty guy. Open the door, or I'll start executing passengers. Man, coming on this trip was a terrible idea. I know. Now I wish I'd just stayed home and finished my remake of Inside Out. I'm joy. I'm sadness. I'm anger. I'm disgust. I'm poo. Oh, I need to use the bathroom. Yay, I win! I don't know. We've always had each other's backs. Like when we used to rob banks in lesser-known president's masks. All right, remember to tell everyone who did this. Um, uh, who are you guys supposed to be? Oh, come on, I'm James K. Polk. He's Millard Fillmore. He's William Henry Harrison. First president to die in office. You should have been FDR. Why? Because of the, you know. The wheelchair doesn't define me! And I'm Grover Cleveland. It's funny, because my name's Cleveland. Mother... Oh, damn it, Cleveland. Now we gotta kill them all. This guy gets it first. Hmm? At best, it's just getting famous by tricking people. Like Orson Welles. So, the aliens have come to Earth to destroy all mankind. And, uh, they're going to start at McDonald's. So if you're in line there, you better run. Whoa, whoa, N not the workers, though. They've already said the workers are safe. Why would the principal make all the students do that? I don't know. I think he's going through a tough time. He's in the middle of a bad divorce. What? How do you know that? He's actually been pretty open about it. Good morning, students. Today at 3.30, James Woods High will be hosting a cross-country meet, which also happens to be where Lorraine has threatened to take my children across the country. And here's today's Tuesday trivia question. Does this sound like yelling? Because apparently this sounds to some people like yelling. Mm. All right, fine. I mean, it's not the first time I pretended to be someone else. 
I once dressed as a farmer to get a date on FarmersOnly.com. Oh. Are you Peter? Yeah. Uh, are you the gross lady who lives in the converted horse trailer? You don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com. It doesn't say whites only, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Hey. Boy, that was rough. This sport's even more dangerous than skeet shooting. Pull! I got in the wrong line! Stewie, I've been standing here the whole time. But you know, you know what? That's fine. I'll just go have a dog-style celebration by myself. Yeah! Awesome time! This is very fun for me! Hey! Oh, hey! This is fun, right? The best! And me too! Oh, Rupert, I can't believe Taylor Swift is actually going to be in our house. I haven't been this excited since I abused those caffeine pills to get ready for the big show. Everything will be fine as long as I take one of these. Pills? You actually are taking drugs? Stewie, give me those. I can't, Zach. I need them to sing. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so scared. <laughs> yeah, now, now make sex. Screech is going to stab someone on Christmas. I mean, can you imagine if we had our own medieval castle? I bet it'd be even more fun than when I went to White Castle. No. Huh. Names are a little deceiving. It's really like that, bro. Then I say let's celebrate the way they did in the Bible. With wine. Red wine. You know, like Jesus drank. Like with sex? Do you like the wine? Very much. What is it? Take a guess. I have to leave. Nah, sit down. Oh! Where the devil is everyone? This place is more deserted than James Gandolfini's workout room. Oh. <laughs> Sweet. And I promise you'll be able to understand all the words. Not like Sting, where you can only understand the last three. Someone must understand the steed of Hamon or Hamon Nibble Lapule. Stabbing up a brand new. Ah! Yeah! Ah. Lurking in the water with our eyes poking out! Yeah! Sneaking up on a crane or an egret and snapping our jaws on it! Yeah! And sometimes walking out onto a dry plain or dusty field because it's nice to get out of the swamp now and then! Yeah! yeah. Uh, wait, huh? what? 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 Huh? Dry plain? Dusty field? Nice to get out of the swamp? What a crock! And that's where we get the term. That's actually pretty, that's that pretty That would be punny. as foolish as FDR hiring that midget press secretary. I thought you were about to say midget the president porn star. has just confirmed a devastating surprise attack by the Japanese at Pearl Harbor. Much of our naval fleet has been destroyed, and the death toll is believed to be in the thousands. He's adorable! Believe it, Angela, I hate being just a cog around here. Almost as much as I hate homeless people asking me for money. Spare oh. some change? Sure. You didn't put anything in there. Yes, I did. I put hope in there. Man. Hope. Nigga said hope. Don't spend it all in one place, Raggy. Oh. Ugh, he's a worse dad than a rich New York City investment banker. Hi, Daddy. At school today, they picked one kid to- Millie, it's in here again. Me sorry, Mr. Sir. Get out the room, dim dare, you butter, your father. Him unhappy, him had you in the first place. Now, come on, I'll let you rub some lotion on me elbows. Oh, hell no. No way, I don't want pregnant mess in my back seat. Oh, come on, you're the guy who soiled his pants while test driving that sports car. I don't want it. Well, I got no money left to pay off my civil suit debt, so I'm making a god's eye to send to Fred Goldman. It's kind of nice, right? Better than nothing. He's got money to buy tongue depressors and yarn, but not enough to pay us back? You know how much mustache cream that could have bought? I don't like the mustache, Fred. Nobody likes the mustache. That's why we lost the trial. That's not true. That's a damn shame. We're still a family, right? No. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we're tighter than an Asian family. You doctor yet? No, Dad. I'm 12. Talk to me when you doctor. Publicity is what keeps this franchise running, Brian. We're even using state-of-the-art computer animation to create a fake sex tape with me and Bill Cosby. Now you will get ready for the Zim Sam and the Babbity Bibbity, and you will take off your clothes like voo and boom <laughs> and get ready for the most splendiferous pudding pop you have ever seen. 
I'm gonna enter him in the Quahog Derby, and he's gonna win. I just know it. I got a sixth sense about these things. Remember when I predicted the ending, the Wild Hogs? This movie's gonna suck. Oh. <laughs> no, what's ah! sick is the plot of the movie Baby Mama. What happens when a 40-year-old woman asks her 41-year-old friend to carry her baby? Push, Angie. Push. Push hard. Oh, it's dead. We now return to that black guy must be doing well because everything he owns is white. Hey, how you doing? Wow, he must be doing well. I am hotter than phone sex with a blind girl. You sound hot. What are you wearing? I don't know. Nope. Local churchgoer and junior Christian soldier Meg Griffin has identified the atheist as Brian Griffin of Spooner Street. Here's the reaction from City Hall. Uh, shocking, to say the least. I'd rather have a terrorist living in our midst. At least they believe in a god, even if it's a smelly brown god. Ugh, oh, Grandpa always makes me so nervous when I'm driving. Oh! Okay, now me. Oh, that's a stop sign! Ah! Lewis, get in here! It's dark and I'm frightened! Oh. Ooh. I think they've got this thing backwards. Hey, wake up! I had a bad dream, so now your night has to be terrible. Hey, you, go easy on the communion wine today. Don't want another one of your drunken mishaps. Let me get in that belly. Let me get <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry. I got a little nervous. It's just I like you so much. We now return to Ellen only talks when her guest is talking. So you want to hear about my movie? Uh, I had a great, we spent great weekend three months this weekend. I, I danced all over and, uh, you know, my house. Thriller, I, I, I tried to dance really like at least once too. a week. I, I also listen to jazz while I vacuum, which is cool. Jazz anyway, it comes out Friday, and I got to work wild. with Julian and Margulies. I think there's like something in the air, like smog or pollen or pollen and smog. Are you just going to talk over everything I love talking on TV. I'll do anything to talk 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 on TV. I, I can't, I can't believe you. I don't know, Doctor. Looking back, I think it may have been real yep. butter. Your Probably husband murdered butter. three children. Oh. I know something that'll help you sleep. Wait here. Okay, I'll give you a tiny bit of this. It should help you sleep. What is it? It's cough syrup. It's not really for kids, but a capful is pretty harmless. Hmm. Oh, so this is what Lil Wayne keeps almost dying from. Oh! What are you doing? Huh? Oh, Brian. Oh, there you are. I've been, I've been looking all over the table for you. You know, I'm going to tell you, the stuff you gave me was a lifesaver last night. I was out like a light. And, you know, normally I'm up five or six times to scream and defecate. But you know what? I slept straight through. Stewie, I told you, there's alcohol in that. It's not for kids. You're not for kids. <laughs> Stewie, you're drunk. Okay, okay, it's all right. Calm down, calm down. Uh, uh, uh. I think I've put my shoes on the wrong feet. Is it 9.15 already? Lois, we gotta go. Our top story. An austere monetary policy has the European Union on the brink of collapse, threatening the entire global economy. And for viewers making less than $40,000 a year, your top story is a big UFC fight this Saturday. Joe, why are you dressed like that? Because I'm a mixologist. Oh, cool. What can you make? You name it, I can make it. Could I get an old-fashioned? Classic. Rum and Coke coming right up. And could I get a Moscow Mule? Rum and Coke for my comrade. I'll have a whiskey Rum Coke sour. coming right up. Could I get a Rum and Coke? A Pepsi okay? But I guess I learned my lesson about the evils of Wall Street. What are you talking about? This isn't about Wall Street. This is about you. Me? I've been investing in the market forever and doing just fine. You did it for one week and were literally eating your own kind. This isn't about Wall Street. I cannot stress that enough. Well, money is the root of all evil. No, it's not. It's just you. If we praise Jesus by singing all to... Money is not the root of all evil. The lack of money is the root of all evil. Nobody robs a bank when their bills are paid. Together, it makes this whole exercise seem less bizarre than it really is when you actually stand back and examine it with some objectivity. Please be seated. 
And so did the Corinthians finally write back to St. Paul saying, Dude, enough with the letters. We have received them all and we'll get back to you when we have the time. We'll get back to and you by the way, a lot of the information you're asking for is available online. It's all available online, baby. Hey, nice talk, Chief. Mm. Hey, go buy the wife something pretty. Oh, Father, your homily was so moving today. Okay, Lois, bye. Bye, church. Bye, church guy. Bye, unending conversation. Bye, terrible church people. Bye. Hey, are you a big fat bastard who loves eating at Outback Steakhouse but thinks the portions are too small? Well, good news, fat ass, because now there's the Outback Steakhouse Extreme. We don't have a bloomin' onion, we have a bloomin' pumpkin. You know what else we got? Elephant steaks, 50 pound elephant steaks. No. And why don't you wash it down with 40 ounces of malt liquor and ranch dressing, you fat <laughs> Outback Steakhouse Extreme. Punish your toilet. Ah! Peter, be careful up there. Is this being careful enough, Joe? All right. Yeah. Peter, are you okay? All right, there's no pudding, but there is a kid up here. Don't hold him like that. Oh, my God, Peter, that's the lost Nicholson kid. He's been missing for a week. Oh, yeah. They arrested a custodian because of you. Why are you now, holding some him of you by out his there balls? are calling me a hero. Others are calling me a hoagie. Those of you from Connecticut are calling me a grinder. What's a hoagie? I guess what I'm trying to say is... What's a grinder? I'm not just pieces of meat between pieces of bread. I am a man who unintentionally saves kids. Wow. 20 years on the force and no one's ever clapped for me. Except for that one sarcastic gay guy. Great observation. Fact is, when I saved that boy, I wasn't thinking. I don't think. I just do. I wanted to see if a billboard had real pudding in it. So I climbed up there and came out a hero. It's just like Gandhi always said. Eat as much as you want and do whatever. And don't be afraid to hit each other. Motherfucker, what? My God, it's a miracle. You were able to put me back together again. Yeah, it was actually a pretty simple procedure. Maybe next time go straight to a medical professional and skip the horses and illiterate servants. Well, that is the last time I drink and masturbate on top of a high wall. I thought I was dead. Oh, boy. I even pictured my own funeral. Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve I don't know, Chris. I don't know why he wanted this, but we're honoring your father's wishes. Oh. Oh. Well, so then Jack takes these two pails of water and trips and totally falls down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I got a funny story. Jill had a tooth fall out and she swallowed it and then we had to root through her feces to find it. And we did. And then we took it to the dentist and he put it back in her mouth. So I guess we're both klutzes, huh? Why don't you spin another tail, crap tooth? No? My turn again? <gasps> okay. Jill's <laughs> turn. Coming up, a white waiter at a Chinese restaurant? We'll get you the facts on this bizarre story. But first, this week's viral video, Fat Kid Hustles Through Crosswalk. Here it is. Here's little Chubbo pulling up the rear. Oh, he's got to get moving now. That's right. Don't let your chocolate levels get too low. Ah! Ah, don't let the chocolate levels get too low. Okay. Now, see, she didn't say good morning to me. So I put an orange dot on her boarding pass, which means they're going to search her anus. I noticed you also circled a bunch of things on her ticket. Why did you do that? Because otherwise, the line moves too quickly. You see, the whole thing we're going for here at the TSA is a sort of bored fascism. Huh. I think I can handle that. I did not tell you to approach. Great job. The worst thing a passenger can do is approach your podium before you tell them to. As bad as those 19 hijackers were, the people we see here every day are much worse. Wow. You know, when you see it up close, it really is incredible. Yeah. You know, Lois always dreamed about coming here, and now I know why. She was even saving money for it. You made it, Lois. You made it. And what about Bonnie? How you getting her back? Well, I got a plan for that. I hired some guys to come to the house on Tuesday and assault her. And I'll come in and save her. And she'll be so grateful, she'll have to take me back. Oh, boy. Sure. Today's Tuesday. Well, poop. Which is why I'm gonna drink this frying pan antidote. All right, hit me with this. Didn't work. 
What are you doing here? Loretta's mom was hankering for a snack, so we had to pick her up some kibbles and bits. <laughs> Cleveland! <laughs> I mean, cheez -Its. Brother, please, you're the one who's tripping. Go on, cry home to your mama. She waiting for you. Now, don't make me put my size 13s up your narrow ass! I don't sweat you. Bring it on, bitch. Now, how are you gonna act? Jeez. That's really what we're that too. trash in here. Don't bring this that trash in here. Excuse me, is your refrigerator running? Because if it is, it probably runs like you. Very homosexually. What? Oh, you wanna dance? <laughs> Get suck, Yankee suck, Nick suck. <laughs> What's new, Ed? Well, Stewie, tonight we have a really big show. Okay, okay, and now a word from our sponsors. It takes a very steady hand. Don't touch the sides. <laughs> Butterfingers. <laughs> Better hurry up, Mr. Tucker. I'm coming. Hey, remember that time I had that Mustang? Oh, yeah, you, you took it for the spin that time. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Uh, then, then those chowder heads on the corner, they busted your stone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your sister say anything about me? Pumpkin to Kuni Mirati. Excuse me? I said, may I have a blanket? Oh, yes, of course. Ha! I really said, will you be my wife? And you said yes, so now it is official. Let me touch your face. You're telling me I flew all the way to Kentucky to get some of your fried chicken and, and the colonel isn't even working today? He, we, he did. What? I say he did. Is Mr. Sanders in? What's wrong with you? I say you, he did. Well, the hijacking of Flight 52 is over. The plane has safely landed in Cuba, and all Americans aboard are on their way home with the exception of one couple, a fat man who is inexplicably married to an attractive redhead. Here's an artist's rendering of what they might look like. Oh. Oh, shit. Hey, turn up. <laughs> Jackie Chan, Cab 302. Oh, my God. Oh. Thank you very much. Great party, Griff. Girls, you know Jimmy Khan. Jimmy, make yourself at home. Hey, thanks. Oh, this is crazy. You walk in here with your chiseled jaw and you... Oh, my. I liked you the way you were. You're not even real anymore. You... Peter, did you get a new buttocks? I had to. My old one had a crack in it. <laughs> My nigga said the last one had a crack in it. What I'm are you dead. looking at, you, you infantile stupid? That's right. Damn you and such. You can... You burn in hell. <laughs> You bastards come into our village and kill our fish, loot our water. I'm gonna send you back to hell where you belong. Tired of not being able to find clothes that fit? I know I was. That's why I started Stewie's Big and Tall Man Shop. If you're portly or tall, you'll find a friendly atmosphere brimming with personalized and expert service. Hey, Stewie, how's the weather up there? Very fair. Like our prices. Oh! Oh. oh. Peter, how the hell is he going to recognize us? He doesn't even know who we are. Oh. Ha. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh! Listen, Peter, if you keep this up, something terrible's going to happen. Yeah, something terrible all the way to the bank. Nice. <laughs> Chris, the way to eat an Oreo is to twist it, pull it apart, and lick it. Now you. Oh, this is my favorite event. Catch the greased up deaf guy. Go! You're never gonna catch me. You're wasting your time. Forget about it. Go do something else. Oh. See you next year. Is it Astroglide? Did you hear what happened to that dude from UMass? He got so drunk he fell off his hotel balcony. 
He's in a coma. Oh, man, I want to party with him. You man. know it. Yeah. 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 A jackal. Jackal. It's a jackal. It looks like a jackal. 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 It's a jackal. Jackal. Time. It wasn't right the first time you said it. Why the hell would it be right the next ten times? God. I wonder where that fish did go. A fish, a fish, a fishy. Oh. What the boom, hell? Boom. Did you do your exercises today? Yes, I did 20 laps, and I'm about to do 20 more. Oh, you... Yikes! Hungry eyes. I feel the magic between you and I. Ooh, I'm hungry for you, baby. <laughs> Come on, walk with me, talk with me. Lois! You can't spell love without L-O. You can't spell is without I-S. You can't spell silo without Lois. What the hell type of shit? <laughs> You'll get Time used to, to hand it. back last week's spelling test. And it looks like it. Oinky set the curve again. Oh, dang, that is some smart pick. Good thing I copied off of Oinky. Ulysses S. Grant, you invite me to lunch, then show up an hour late, drunk? I was busy looking for your wife to give her the old... <laughs> Warm ah. yesterday. Warm yesterday. Even warmer today. He's violating sea breeze. No, oh, no, he's just awkwardly positioning himself. Now he's violating sea breeze. I am gonna go back in time and stop Brian from getting it on with your dog. Everybody stand back. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, oh boy. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, watch out, we got some bad roaches here. Hey, you're on our turf, man. Hey, man, I, I cut you, I cut you up so bad, you, you're gonna, you're gonna wish I not cut you up so bad. Damn, nigga. Oh, shit. Nigga. Chicken and titties? Don't mind if I do. Pina! Oh, sorry. Where am I gonna go next? What interesting adventure? You don't know. I'll have my award now. Dee, I lied. I was a princess the whole time. You bitch, I'm gonna punch you in the face. You bitch, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Horrible pickup line. Terrible pickup line. So, you want to get something to eat? Can we go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food? Oh, let's go someplace where the menus have pictures of the food! Well, you're doing a lot better now, Cleveland. I mean, you went from a black woman to a white woman without having to take that Hispanic woman step in between. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Cleveland. No. Uh, I'm no meteorologist, but I'm pretty sure it's raining bitches. Rupert, suddenly I want to run! Chase me! <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. We now return to VH1's Behind the Music. Me had big problem before me found God. He like threw me down and he said, I hope your puppeteer has big hands because I'm not using lube. Me no remember that, but me believe it happened. Glenn Quagmire. Do not open that box. You know, Lois, physicists believe there are two alternate universes. One in which I don't open the box, and one in which I do. I'm not going to open the box. Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet, it's a whip! <laughs> wow, I haven't felt this powerful since I got to decide which ant lives and which ant dies. And the winner will be given his freedom. Why are you looking at me like that? For the I, mountain! I told you not to play God with those ants! Oh. Stay still! <laughs> oh my okay, God! That's pretty cool, too. Ah, I thought you couldn't understand me! Hey, Cleveland, I just wanted to give you a heads up that Peter has a whip, because, well, you know, given your racial heritage, it seems like something you might want to keep an eye out for. 
Grape soda, Graham. I know this is very risky, but the upside is so good, I'm taking it. Hey, what you watching? The outlaw Josie Wales. It's a western. Ah, when do the cowboys go into the tent, lick their palms, and have sex with each other? Different kind of western. Ew, what's Clint Eastwood doing with that Indian chief? Oh, they're, they're just becoming blood brothers. An ancient ritual where two friends intermingle their blood, thus sealing a bond even deeper than friendship. So let's do that. Brian, I want you inside me. Y y you don't Mother have to say it like that. what? Hey, listen, this is uh, a little awkward, but uh, you guys are sitting in our booth. This is our booth now, and we ain't leaving. So what are you going to do about it, bitch? You fellas are in big trouble. If, uh, if you could just move back like eight feet. Is that my whip? Hey! Is that my taser? Will you stop going through my mail? You son of a bitch! You gave me herpes! And now I have some very uncomfortable phone calls to make! Handy Manny's repair shop. You break it, we fix it! Manny? Manny, I'm gonna need you to take me off speakerphone for this. You know, oh. I mean, isn't the worst thing about herpes just the stigma? I mean, like, like what if it wasn't called herpes? Like, like what if it was called Bapo? Oh, I got a little Bapo. Oh, that's cute. Ah, I want Bapo. What a morning. <laughs> By the time I got done with my pubes, I just didn't feel like shaving anymore. <laughs> hey, Chris, your mom's done with the laundry. Can you help her fold? No, but you know what? You put on her bra. Everybody heard about what happened over at the clam and how those guys made you their bitch. There's gonna be some big changes around here. <laughs> Man, you know looks how we like really never to lie to each other? Well, I lied earlier tonight. It's not a burn from Dunkin' Donuts coffee. You should get yourself tested. How long have you been there? Long enough to know you have herpes and do weird stuff with your teddy bear. We're blood brothers, too. You seem like a great guy. Yes, thank you. We'll take the table in the corner next to the herpes dog. Hey, Brian. And who's your date? Wow, you must be such a good person to knowingly go out with a herpes-riddled dirtbag. Damn it, you guys. Her dad's really rich. Wow, you weren't kidding. Yeah. And there's only two of you losers. Where's your skinny friend? Right here. That was my pool cue. I brought it from home. I, f I feel bad now. Ah! Hey, that was my Pawtucket Patriot sign. I brought it from home. Okay, now I'm starting to doubt everything you said. We will never stop fighting for this booth. Hell, I witnessed every significant historical event in my lifetime right here. I was in this booth on 9-11. Oh my God, no. I was in this booth when President Obama was elected. Oh my God, no! <laughs> Why are we even bothering with these idiots? We're shipping out to Afghanistan tomorrow. What the fuck? Oh, damn it! What the hell do you guys want from me? I want to drive your Prius to the end of the block all by myself. That's it? Yes. That's, uh, that's way past the end of the block. Yeah, his room's empty. I don't think he's coming back. Huh. I don't understand why I have to babysit Stewie. I mean, what's he really gonna do if we leave him by himself? And now to test my teleportation pods. <gasps> oh, damn! Ah, I'm a monster! So, um, this is, uh, awkward, but, uh, have, have we ever actually, you know, met? I mean, you know, I, I don't even know, say, for example, if you have a room up there. You know, a room? I have a room. You know, Meg, if you kill yourself now, you'll probably get a full page in the yearbook. Hey, Mort, uh, Lois and I are out on a date night. Uh, why don't you give me some condoms and some Excedrin? My wife's got a headache this big. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like from the commercial. This big. All right, then, $12.43. Ah, oh, jeez, that's more of a ripoff than that breakfast machine I bought. <laughs> ah! Oh, what was the point of all that? Oh. Ah! All it does is shoot you! Well, that's okay. I'll just open up a tab. Wait a minute, what the hell's a tab? Does that mean I don't gotta pay? Well, not right now, but... Ah, uh... oh, sweet! Hey, while I'm at it, give me all these copies of Marie Claire. Meg! Meg, I'm hungry! There's a granola bar in the cupboard. I want it! Hey, what's this? What's going on? It's Saturday night. I could be out having a life. Meg, if you don't want to babysit anymore, that's fine. But don't you stand there and lie to me. <laughs> oh, oh. Man, she torched your ass, man. She torched your ass. Why can't you just hire a real babysitter? Now, whoever goes the longest without puking gets the last piece of pie in the fridge. How's everybody doing? Good. Good so far. All right. All right. Nothing yet. Cool. Cool. From the uh, bake sale that Lois was... <laughs> Oh, one down. I know somebody who won't be having any... I guess I'm gonna... I hate throwing up. I get to eat... Get the phone. Call 911. I've only thrown up once in my life. One time. Who wants chocolate?
louder. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Can I still apply for the job? God, I haven't been this exhilarated since Brian took me to see Les Miserables. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. There will be a slight change in the cast tonight. Oh, no. For this evening's performance, the role of Jean Valjean will be played by Kirk Cameron. Oh, oh, unbelievable. You owe me $34,000. What? What if I sold you my daughter? What? All you gotta do is sign this contract. You can't sell me, you fat son of a bitch. Whoa, careful getting this fish off the hook, Mort. She's got some fangs. <laughs> I can't believe he's over me. I can't believe I'm out 34 grand. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> Stick around, more Family Guy coming up. Tonight, the babysitter comes, Rupert. Lovely Ladon. I think hey, everybody hey, loves their babysitter. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh well, well, this here? Oh, it's just my package. So oh, you're no the guy word. who's been trying to steal my girlfriend. What? You girlfriend? According to the contract, every night you have to put on my pajamas. <laughs> Neil, would this not kick in? Would this hold still? Oh, my God. Yeah, hold oh, still. Oh, my God. Quit. Now, now, now. All right, that's it. Jeremy must be destroyed. Is anyone there? Yeah! Ah! I say, uh -oh. I think this is how you change a tire, but what do I know? I'm just a baby! Boy, this was a better acquisition than I thought. We may even be able to put in some sorghum this year. Jeremy stopped calling me. He what? That blackguard? Oh, come here. L let me just let me just hold you for a while. No, 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 no. No more TV. Well, how about no more job? Hmm? Ha! Lois! Oh, thank God you're here, Lois. It was all her friends. They, they, they were doing marijuana and heroin. I'm gonna miss you, little guy. This is for you. She... she made me a mixtape? Oh, dear God, what have I done? I've made a terrible mistake. I can't believe I'm doing this. It's so disgusting. But it's for my little girl. Dad, how do you know Neil will show up? Don't worry, Meg. I sent him an invitation he couldn't refuse. These conventions usually have Segway parking. Am I too late for the Q&A? Yeah, but you're just in time for the T&A. Mrs. Griffin, this is wrong. Well, 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 look at this, Meg. Your boyfriend is violating both your contract and my wife. Uh, Meg, I wasn't doing anything. Uh, Mrs. Griffin was just, how oh, you're bending it. I can't believe I'm actually jealous. I can't believe I actually touched him. I still can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> Next week, I run for mayor of Quahog. Do I I have what it takes? We'll find out. Don't miss it. Here we are again. Another Saturday night with basic cable. Yep. Oh, I suppose neither of us is really cut out for love and wish. Oh my god, Jeremy's still in the trunk. Oh god, how long's it been? Uh let's let's see. Two two weeks. Yep. Yeah, he's dead. Definitely dead. Why are they selling all those DVDs so cheap? Because, Chris, DVDs are outdated and obsolete. Like white track stars. Oh. On your marks, get set. White guys, go! I have high hopes for this. I had a cliff bar before we started. Everybody else! <gasps> Phew, I thought they were coming after us. Bro, is it bad this that I still think like that? Familiar. You're right, Brian. Apparently, this is a universe where everyone has to take a poop right just now. <clears throat> okay, Bill, you got those numbers? Yeah, yeah. Okay, just leave them on my desk. Okay, that works out fine for me. Where's your desk? Doug knows where my desk is. Craig, are you good with this? Yeah, that should work out pretty good for me, too. Oh my god, you've missed so much. Like when America was attacked by mentally challenged suicide bombers. Allahu Akbar! It'll be fine. We shouldn't let this ruin our night. Let's just enjoy the strippers. I guess. I just hate the way that one gets so into her work. You boys have been very naughty. I'm gonna have to assign you extra homework. Oh, shit. Darn it, fractions are so hard. What'd you get for number four? She said don't share answers! God, she's more stubborn than you are. Daddy, I want a turn on the swing set. No. But you've gone for two turns. Get lost. It looks like fun and I want to do it. No, I'm doing it. I'm gonna do a big jump off. Oh! Ah, get mom! 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 Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. It's your boy Blast, Mr. HD, Twizam.